Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no! <laughs> the vendor's dead! The vendor! Get out of the fucking menu! Afternoon, evening, how y'all doing? Oh fuck, my shoulders killed me. Bit of a late start today. My bed. Ugh. But hey, we are uh, five and some change hours away from the Star Wars trailer. Hopefully, we get a fucking release date. Cause don't get me wrong, I'm excited for the trailer, sure. But like, I'm excited for a hopefully a release date. Realistically, I don't think it's gonna happen in May. A May release date would be sick. Some days my mixer just won't fucking shut up. It's like I move the mic arm suddenly it's just and I see something fucking pop up on the audio meter. But anyways. Um, realistically, I'm excited for the trailer, but not, you know, I want the, I want the date, you know, I want the release date. And I want it soon. I don't think it's gonna happen in May. May would be amazing. June is probably more realistic, especially considering Star Wars Acolyte drops at the start of June. So if it drops around then, that would be fucking smart of them. Scrap junk to produce cork. That's not good. Take a camera picture at Nuka World on tour. Well, I don't have a camera on this character, so we have to swap. Oh, they want me to do a cultist as well. Uh. The rest of these are super easy, though. Okay, let's do the rest of my other character. Get the, uh, the Parma stuff out of the way. The dailies done. Before, actually, the dailies before we can get to the Parma stuff. That'll be the rest of the stream, obviously. They moved the day of the fall show to the 10th. Yeah, they uh, they pushed it up. I saw that. That was a nice little present to wake up to. Yeah, they usually do, um, like, it's not unheard of for them to do, like, hey, uh, the show starts on, like, the 11th, but we'll put out, you know, the first episode at, like, 6 p.m. on the 10th, right? Uh, it's not unheard of for Amazon to do that kind of stuff. For them to do that for a show that's dropping all at once is a little weird, but hey, I'm down, you know? So, no complaints there at all. Because that means now that it's dropping on, uh... Fucking... <clears throat> uh, was it Wednesday night? Means I can just binge it all on Thursday afternoon, morning. Well, right now, wake up basically morning. But yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, what do we scrap for cork? I don't know. Golf balls. Haha, <laughs> I remember. I've had to do this before. Fast travel, right? Yeah, let's go to the entrance, service entrance. Pretty close. Of course, this is assuming no one's uh, yoinked all the golf balls. But yeah, watch and follow will be fun. Seen any golf balls out here? Did someone yoink them all? 
God damn it. I think someone did. Maintain situational oh, awareness. We got a couple right here. The grounds are not secure. Bit laggy. How much uh, the golf balls break down into? I need, what, five cork, it says? There's ten. Uh, five. Okay, so you need two more golf balls. That's not bad. A bit fucking bright out here. Is it just me? Come on. Also, my mouse isn't... Fucking keypad isn't working. There we go. I can see you. Okay, so I did get knocked. Where'd you go, you little bastard? Fuck. Dude, it's so hard to see. It's just so fucking bright. Not even funny. What up, Vulcan? How's it going? Oop, there we go. Perfect. All right, cool. So we got all the cork. I'll we'll break that down in a second here. Um, floater. We can go to that the place. Mole rats. Those are random. Uh, I think it's Twin Lakes. No. Solomon's Pond. This sets of floaters. Mole rats, I got I got a good spot for those, I think. Nice work. Sensors indicate the problem squatter. Yeah, I, I definitely did cop a squatter. I can't believe they still haven't fixed that after all these years. I may have additional assignments for you to carry out. It's like one person on the server completes it, everyone completes it. Okay. Whatever you say, dudes. Deuce. We'll get the cold one probably. That'll be good enough. Uh, what up, uh, Liam? How's it going? We're just chilling, getting the uh, dailies out of the way first on my main, and then we'll be back on the Perma Character Fest to stream until the uh, Star Wars trailer drops. Hello. Someone want to spawn in? There we go. I see you. Alright, floaters out of the way. Now, I always run into mole, or, uh, mole rats when I'm walking this route. So if we go from pit stop uphill, we should be able to find a bunch. <sighs> Ooh, sorry, still waking up here. How y'all doing? Everyone have a good Monday, hopefully. Hopefully your week's off to a uh, solid enough start. Yeah, we can solve the road right here. Usually it's right up the hill. Yeah, I still don't know how I feel about the launcher. Like, the damage is good. I'm sure it'll get amazing once I actually have all the rest of the mods, right? Because this is just a vanilla launcher, right? And I think I have... I think I have anti-armor on this one. Yeah, I have anti-armor on it. So, like, it's not a... You know, it's, it's okay. You can't roll two shots, so I think anti-armor's okay. Um, but, uh... The fact it uses 15 ammo per shot. It's kind of like, uh... I realize I'm supposed to have, like, an extra large tank, you know, soon. Once I get, like, the actual upgrades and shit, but, like... Still, 15 per shot? Like, that's a lot of fuel. I mean, I... Don't get me wrong, I had a lot of fuel on this fucking thing to begin with. From, uh, using the TSE Flamer back in the day, you know? But still, that's that's a lot of fuel. 
Sell the motherboard and CPU for the first time. Can't scare shit. Ah, uh, it's not bad. I get it if it's because the first time you don't want to bend the pins and shit. I do get that, but yeah, it's... You gotta fuck up pretty bad to do that, so he's gotta watch the YouTube video. Ain't no thang, really. Oh no, I think we only got three. We did only get three. No! Okay, where do we get more roll more rats? Uh, we always get them right going downhill from here. In the outlook over here. Because I always get those <clears throat> right fucking there. Around, or somewhere along that house line. So, I think that's what we do. I think we'll be good. You just gotta pretend we're playing on a perma character. I'll take the same path. Bunch of armor to sell off. Okay, noted. Well, yeah, that's generally speaking this trajectory, you know. Bill uh, was a the Mistress of Misery fucking mansion. Yeah, there they are right there. I told you they're here. Where's your buddy? Just you. Ah, there you are. And we're done. Oh! Where you at, bitch? Where you at? Come at me, villain! Alright, cool. Next up. Stims Chems. Take a picture. I have a camera on this character, so we can do that. We'll go to Nuka World, we'll sell off our Garbo, and we'll take a picture. Have the camera with me? Pro Snap Deluxe. Cheese. Okay, we got that done. Now, hot. Uh, call to stims. Stims or chems. Okay, well, uh, we got 10 minutes to kill, so how do we get them stims? We'll just go kill some dudes on the roads. They'll have some stims, probably. Probably. Honestly, I could probably loot the stems on my fucking perma character. Really. It's weird the thing going off makes a sound of like a plasma grenade. It's really weird. Oh. Well, okay then. <laughs> Nice, 
stem tree. Yeah, a stem. Oh, shit. Alright, let's hit up these boxes, get a little bit of fuel, you know what I'm saying? Er. thing the fuel efficient than the normal flamer uh no no well i don't know i mean i don't i don't have a good flamer anymore right i just have like a two shot like regular version um because mine was a tse right so i don't have like a like a good flamer that people use for a damage and shit you know like the holy flamer so mine's set up like for max damage because i think mine has like a compression nozzle on it right i'm pretty sure compression nozzles are like uh this guy right here. See, this second star is missing. Yeah, vaporization nozzle fucks your um, your distance on the thing. The barrel helps a little bit, but it, it fucks the uh, the distance on it, right? So this thing's actually not amazing anymore. Like it, this, like flamers are actually pretty good on their own, but my I kind of fucked mine, and I don't really want to modify it. Um, I don't, I don't know about fuel efficient, cause this thing, like, even if this thing does suck. As far as, uh, you know, no explosive and it has no range. Like, this thing fires 50, like, look, look at my ammo count, 90, 75. It takes 15 for a single shot. So, I mean, see, let's see how much, they have, even with this thing not being amazing, let's see how much 15 can get done on this thing, you know? We gotta go until 85. So that was like one dude, and we're all, we're a little, a little uh, under. We killed him with a single flame shot as well. Let's see if we can kill another one with a single flame shot if we get him in the head. Okay, I held it down a little too long, but yeah, I think this thing's a little more fuel efficient. <laughs> But it's also a lot more boring, you know? I mean, he gets a job done, right? But, eh. Yeah. I, uh, I think they both have their merits, you know? I think they both have their merits. Like, if you get big groups or whatever, or you want to fucking get some crazy distance, that's what the fucking in Supreme for, right? But if you want close quarters, um, then, you know, that's what this thing's for. Like, close quarter singles? Like, this thing's good. Wow, a furious sheep squatch staff. Amazing. This thing could probably be better if I took off the vape nozzle. But yeah, um, ask for actual, like, fuel use? Oh, um, nah. Now, nah, granted... I could kill just as many with the cremator if I actually had all the damage mods and shit, you know? Because there's going to be one that's going to give it, like, the four barrel. That'd be nuts. But I have, like, nothing. Oh, I guess I have tanks. I guess I have tanks. Where did I get these? Does it come with those? Huh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, the, getting the huge will be nice. I gotta get science expert. That's fine. I can do that. Uh, 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 oh, we have a, we have appearances for this thing. Nice. Vaporization nozzle. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm pretty sure it fucks the range, supposedly. Yeah, see? Oh, it says it's at 228. I don't know about that one. Anyways, let's go log off. Well, swapeth to my character. It's already over there, chilling. 
We just gotta drop 10 cultists. And uh, we're done. On to the perma for the day. <sighs> yeah, with the the ammo changes, ammo like with contextual ammo, ammo's not an issue at all for regular flamers. Um, they're they're pretty good though. I've used them plenty, for sure. I should say I used them plenty without TSC. Like they're just good. <clears throat> they're just good in general. It's probably why a lot of people like the Holy Flamer, because it has the faster rate of fire plus the uh, vamp on it. You know. What up, Sudo? How's it going, dude? The Dim Ones have attempted to contain our light. Destroy their vines encircling each pyre before we proceed. Each pyre is attended by a wise one's observer. Only when the vines have been destroyed will the observers instruct you on your next task. Hurry now, children. His patience does not run as deep as his wisdom. Shouldn't he be patient and wise, though? I'm just saying. <clears throat> A fine start, but our work is far from complete. False prophets clamber throughout this city. Their presence corrupts our mission. Their faint hunt them, destroy them, fill the streets with their foul idols. Let's drop down. <clears throat> See if these guys have the stims we were looking for. They do not. Grab the ammo, though. Hey, we got one of the stims. Beautiful. Oh, this is definitely gonna get muted. There's no way they fucking made that. Like, I love you, Bethesda, but you haven't made music for the last few updates. Like, there's no way. That wasn't like bought somewhere, you know, and gonna get claimed on YouTube. <clears throat> nope, I'm good. How many are we at? What, three? <clears throat> we are at three. We gotta get seven more kills, huh? Okay. I'm thinking...
I don't really trust the church one. I usually like going over here, so I can usually vats them all. Are we not getting enough? Oh, there's one over there. Oops, someone else got that one. Good. Yeah, I think chilling out on this one's gonna be the play for now. Top of this. Ooh, come yes, on now. I will. Uh, thank you. Can we get on top of that? The ritual sites have been prepared. Yes, the we can. summoning Beautiful. shall commence once each of the pyres has been lit. Ah, Go fine. I'll light ignite up. the flames as I release the dust of our wise one into the air. What a fan has gone. Ah, yes. The flames of our pyres ignite the moth dust. It offers enlightenment, however brief it may be. Breathe, children. Breathe. See the world now through his eyes, children. Let the dust and flames and fumes fill you. Let it soak into your throats. Let it show you the truth. But prepare yourselves, for the heretic Jinbons will be enraged by this vision. <laughs> the reality of our wise one will send them into a frenzy. Frenzy. You must protect our sacred lights, the fires, from those wretched fiends. Without the fire's glow, our guest may refuse our invitation. The dim ones approach the church. Slay them, children. Offer no quarter. Too many people showed up, man. Like this at all. Standing in my way, homie. Back there, fucking gonna farm him. Uh, he's only 73. I don't know if he has a bed love for that. Might have to, though. Like this. Yeah, they're all gonna go farm it like fucking assholes. Hopefully, they all move off to the next area. If they don't, I'll have to move off to the next area. God damn it. Okay, I'm on to the bridge. How many are we at now? Five? We're at five. Only halfway. We gotta get some more. I don't like this at all. These unwavering fools attack from all sides. Leave no pyre unguarded. Leave no heretic left standing. I wanna even at the church? Yeah, map shows people church. I just get two or three. I think I got two. Fuck. Leave those for them. Oh man, I just need three fucking dudes. Uh, this sucks. I might have to come back later. We'll have to hit another one later during uh stream. Oh. Don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him! Oh, they killed him. Motherfucker, dude. If I didn't fucking accidentally jump and reload, it would've been good. One more. Oh, we got time. It's 50 seconds. We might be able to get it. Hopefully one comes left side here in a second here. Come on, one more. Grab my loot. Eh. 
And there's all the stems. Beautiful. Daily's done. Boom. The wise one draws near. He awaits our signal. Quickly, children. Return to me upon the museum's rooftop. We must invite him to us to show him our love and all our and the weekly is going to reset today, which means Mothman Ekronx is probably over at this point. So I don't need to be here anymore on this character, so we bounce him. Alright, cool. Back to the Parmadat as soon as I sell off. Challenges are done, so. Alright, let's see. Anything good in here? Probably not, I imagine. Still, right? Get the paint job. Hooray. Oh, we can't. It's like this page 38 for those. Alright, whatever. Alright. Let's get the music back up. Then we swap. The perma character. Almost fifty. Next cream part, uh I can check again in a second here. Pretty sure it's pretty far in though, which is really annoying. As you get the cremator right here, which means parts are all after it, so there's no parts here. There's that's auto actually, so that's not even the paint for it, so never mind. Nothing here. Slow burner. Yeah, 55. That's how long they make you wait. Like, the cremator itself is at fucking, I don't know, like 20-something? 30-something, maybe? No, it's not even 30. I think it might have been 20-something. It's not that many ranks to get here, though. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. It's like, you get it, then what? No parts here. What parts? A paint job. Ooh. Oh, if y'all fall first, though, of course. <clears throat> and another one. And then you finally get the slow burner, which I'm pretty sure isn't even one you want. Pretty sure you want the napalm one. And then an actual paint job you can use if you're not fall first, like I'm not. Heavy mod. And nothing. Then you get the napalmer. Uh, oh, then you get the barrel ones, finally. So you technically could stop at 85, but you should probably keep going. Because 85, if you already got the 85, it's not going to be much work to keep going all the way to get the color ones at a hundo. Still annoying, though. Still annoying. Uh, make you work for it. Bring the pit boy to Valdez. Okay, so we gotta go back fucking north. So we gotta hit the road. Easy enough. If we could snag an event soon, that'd be nice. <coughs> God, we're close to leveling up. Need to get 50 so we can get a better uh, suit made and a uh, backpack, which will be nice. Uh, which isn't really needed, though, to be fair, because we're not really losing much. But uh, the biggest thing is a gun. Get a gun up break. I think we're only knocking a 40 right now. So getting a 50 will be a nice little bump for damage. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't feel nearly as bad now about all these streamers being able to stream the Fallout episode when it's already out at that point. I thought they were streaming it early, you know? But now that they push the, the things forward, it's like, oh, pfft. <laughs> By the time any of the streamers watch them on stream, I'll already be, like, <laughs> halfway through the series, probably. <laughs> eh, it's not a big deal. Wonder why they moved it? They do that sometimes for shows. They're usually not public about it though. Usually it's like, oh hey, it comes out the 11th. And what the 11th usually means is like, it comes out at, like, you know, nine Eastern the night before, you know? It's happened sometimes, but usually it's for shows that are like weekly shows. And maybe they do like a two episode starter where like the first week they show two episodes and from now, from that point on, it's like one episode a week. They usually do it for those kind of things, not where they drop it all at once. So, eh. Like, the 6 p.m. release time, or 9 Eastern, whatever, you know, like, the day before, that's not really unheard of. That's their typical schedule. <clears throat> at least for some of their stuff. Some stuff, like I said, if they drop it all at once, usually it's just, yeah. What's the build? This is a stealth commando build. Stealth Commando build that can't use legendaries because this is a permadeath character and every time I roll a permadeath character uh, when during character creation I roll a roulette wheel of extra modifiers and this particular one rolled can't use legendaries so it kind of sucks so we're just using a basic fixer uh, but we have a uh, stealth armor so it kind of helps out obviously but again that's not a legendary so I don't have any safety nets on this character because permadeath is uh Kind of, uh, you know, pain in the ass. It's fun though. But yeah, uh, there's are a lot of different legendary uh, properties you can get on armor, and one of them that is amazing for permadeath, if I manage to get lucky and loot one, is a effect called life saving. And life saving basically gives you a 50% chance uh, when you're downed to revive yourself with a stim. But it's a coin flip. And even if you get multiple of those pieces, they don't stack up, like, two pieces doesn't make 100%. Two pieces means, as far as I'm aware, uh, you get basically two coin flips at that point. And, uh, yeah, my last, like, big character died with three pieces, so. Ooh, wow. Huh. Got White Springs robots and a, hmm, Snally Gaster. Weird. What would happen here? So, did the, the robots come to get a care package and then the Snallygaster fucking killed them? Hmm. Yeah, no legendary sucks. But it's good, because I haven't done one before, so... It's a nice little change of pace for this character. I don't know if I'll be doing this on uh, Friday, though. I might dip my toes back into Fallout 3. I'm not sure. Because I, I want to finish up that and, like, get the DLCs going. I don't know how many, like, uh... I don't know how many quests I have left in the main story. I'm kind of like, uh... Do I finish it, or do I just, like... Just go straight into the DLCs, I don't know. Because I definitely want to play the picks. I've never done that. And same with Point Lookout. Um, I don't know about Broken Steel if I've done that. Because I've done Operation Anchorage, and I've done Mothership Zeta. So, I don't know. We'll see.
But to be fair, I haven't done uh, Mothership Zeta and Operation Anchorage since those came out on Xbox Live back in the day, so maybe I'll feel like doing it. I uh, always want to play 7-6 as a call my buddy. Does it make sense? Is there a storyline, etc.? Oh, yeah. Well, like, when so the game came out, there was no, like, NPCs, right? It was all just, uh, like, vendor bots and, like, holotapes and, uh, like, there wasn't, like, any actual, like, alive humans, right? That was the initial setting of the game, is that, because the game, the v a vague, spoiler-free stuff for the most part is 76 is a control vault, right? So it opens up 25 years after the vault, the, the nukes, uh, hit and the population which is all players except for the overseer is meant to rebuild America right so the initial story was uh, there you, you, you want come on the vault and you wonder what the fuck happened because you find like dead people everywhere diseased corpses everywhere some weird new like abomination that's not quite a ghoul um, but also definitely not like alive like a human they called scorched they have like this burnt red skin with a bunch of fucking shit coming out of them, but they still have a little bit of intelligence, unlike ghouls, which are just zombies. You know? They're just irradiated zombies. Uh, Scorch can actually still use weapons and shit, you know? And they have, like, a little bit of, uh, like, dialogue. But they're mostly, like, their brain's pretty much cooked, right? So the whole initial storyline was figuring out what happened to them and then, like, trying to stop that from happening, etc. All of that story is still in, and then after a year and a half of the game being out, they put in the Wastelanders update, which advanced the story, the timeline, and the story. So now, there are settlers here. There are big quest lines for them, and that they're like introductory quest lines to them the second you come out the vault now as well. So not only can you do all the original content, you have all this new content as well, and they keep adding new stuff here and there as well. So yeah, there's there's story here. Uh, it's a lot. I think it's it's definitely there's a lot to be enjoyed here if you're into Fallout. If you like Fallout 4 and you're like, hey, I want more of that, you know, I'm like, hey man, I wish I could play Fallout 4 with friends. That's essentially what this is. Like, keep in mind the story elements aren't going to be as big and, and like a focus as they are in Fallout 4, but they're definitely still there, and there's a lot of it that's pretty good too, in my opinion. Um, there's like a new Brotherhood of Steel storyline, plus the old storyline obviously that was there. Um, there's some Enclave stuff, there's a couple smaller factions, the Responders and the Fire Breathers, there's the Free States, there's uh, a new Raider questline when they, the Raiders show up, and then there's some fucking... There's a lot of interesting stuff to be done here. Plus there's like obviously it's, an open, it's, a, it's a multiplayer game, right? So these are all like player camps, and players are going to be doing their stuff, and then there's going to be like... Like there's an event going on right now, as you can see, so there's a bunch of people there, you know? So there's a big public events that people will gather to do stuff. People will like launch nukes and set off world bosses and shit. So yeah, you can definitely enjoy it. Just like, you know, playing with just your friend. I've done that, you know. Uh, you can also play by yourself or you can play with random people. And, uh, you know, you don't have to deal with any of them. You can turn off PvP because PvP is like very much a both parties have to agree thing anyways. But you could just turn that off so you're not even going to accidentally damage them. So they can't even try and like grief you, you know. It's uh, it's pretty, pretty good. They've done a lot of work over the, the years to make this game like, uh, very uh, easy to get into, and there's a lot to do. Now keep in mind, I've done it all because I've been playing for years, so that's why I'm playing permadeath. Hence the rules on the top left corner. That's not normally there. Those are my own self-imposed rules that I've set for myself. Someone here. Ah. Oh. Oops, wrong one. But yeah, the gameplay is very much Fallout 4 because this game was created while Fallout 4 was in development. The 
the fuck? Oh, it's a fucking raider that's just walking through. Okay, he's one of the friendly ones. I'm like, what the fuck? Um. Ooh, there we go. But yeah, uh. Game's got a lot of work put into it, you know? There's definitely a lot of uh, enjoyment to be had. If you like Fallout 4 gameplay, that's what this is, you know? You're gonna have. You can really go into base building if you want. Obviously, it's not gonna be as. Uh, large of building areas because again you have to keep it small footprint for the player camps but there's like a lot of good stuff to dig into that as well hmm it's up to you but yeah if uh, you gotta be able to you know deal with other people in the world not that you have to deal with them but like you know they're gonna be around right so maybe you're like trying to like clear a camp and someone shows up and just bulldozes shit you know it doesn't happen that much because most people just stick to whatever they're doing, right? And do it like, and then you'll usually meet up and like see people at events and shit. That's about it, usually. But it can happen, you know? But in that case, it's like, oh, all these swap servers, so the mobs are there, you know? Or you could, if you really wanted to, you could pay for Fallout first and therefore just have your own private server. That's another thing you can do. If you really wanted to, you can you could just make your own Fallout world. Because, uh,. This is like just a main game, right? So you can just log in on any public server and it'll just drop you in with other people like I'm doing. Um, but you can also, if you have Fallout First, you can just spin up your own private server, which you and your friends could join. Um, but only you and your friends, right? And then on top of that, if you really wanted to, there's another thing called Fallout Worlds where you could create your all like specific rules and settings. Like, uh, it's always going to be rad storms weather and I'm gonna be able to jump crazy high and I'm gonna have no ammo consumption I'll have infinite ammo and that kind of shit right so there's those things but obviously you can't take a character from that kind of world back to the main game so but if like base building really is your thing you know then you could be like ah oh, yes on my custom world I'm gonna set it so I can build without like you know crazy restrictions and shit like the game normally imposes on you Uh, I don't, uh, me too, I don't get 76, are there only robots, no cities? No, there's cities. There's a foundation, it's a city of settlers, there's a city of raiders up here called the Crater. Um, you can also now, with the last update, you can actually just, oh, I can't, I can't deal on this character. But you could go visit Atlantic City, um, it's just not, don't expect like a full on map, it's small, like little instance areas, but you can still go visit Atlantic City. And do some quest lines there. And you can also do expeditions there, which is like long form like dungeons. So yeah, there, there's actual like towns and whatnot. You gotta keep in mind the nukes only like fell 25 years ago. Giant cities aren't really a, gonna be a thing, you know? There is the White Springs, which is a whole like, you know, uh, it's like the White Springs is, I'm not sure what it's called in real life, but it's a real life equivalent of. A fancy golf course that like has like a presence bunker down there from back in the day I don't think it's used anymore, but like you can go tour it and shit So there's like a fuckload of robots that patrol this and keep this place all secure And there's like a whole like underground mall in there. That's all perfectly good. There's a lot of different stuff here And there are people like I said the original story was that there's none the story has been advanced and people have come back to the region That's why I said there's all kinds of raiders and shit, you know and Mothman cultists and all that kind of crap But yeah, you can see other people on the map. There's another player just doing their own thing, you know. And my base is yellow. Right there, you can see all their bases right here. You can change the icon of them if you want. The little green means they have a vendor there, so you can go and buy stuff from other people if you want to. The red means they have a shelter, which means they have, like, an instance base inside. So, like, you can go, you can get a little crazier inside your Fallout shelter. And then you could actually chain a bunch of shelters together if you wanted to. So if you're, like, really into base building, you could have, like, themed caves, you know, or you could be like, hey, I want my own actual Fallout shelter, like my own vault, you know? There are various, like, Fallout vault-themed shelters that you could, like, you know, chain together. So if you've been ever like, yeah, I want to make my own fucking vault, you can do that kind of shit, you know? 
and uh, your base follows you to whatever server you're on. It's not like stuff like Rust or Daisy or Ark, or if you've played any of those games, you know, you just log in and you just hit join server and it'll just drop you in somewhere, you know? Sometimes it'll be like, oh yes, someone else has a base right where your base is, therefore your base cannot be spawned in because there'd be two bases on top of each other. So it'll give you a warning message and be like, hey, uh, if you want to move it, we can, we'll get, let you move it for free or you can just server hop and it'll be there, you know? So. The game's pretty good. It's got a, great, a lot of great quality of life stuff, you know. Ammo isn't really a huge issue because whatever weapon you're using, most mobs will drop ammo for the type of weapon you're using. Plus, so like say right now I'm using a what's called a fixer, which is essentially a named combat rifle that uses 45 rounds, right? If you're familiar with uh, Fallout 4. If I were to kill a raider who has like a shotgun, he will drop a shotgun, most likely, as well as a shotgun ammo. But then he'll also most likely drop 45 for me because that's the weapon I'm using, right? So, contextual ammo drops is what those are called, which is pretty nice, which means you're not gonna be hunting ammo as much as you would back in the day if you played the game. Um, they've got tons of quality life stuff. It's It's been really good over the years. Kind of a mall? Yeah, White Springs Mall. I mean, I think that's what they call it. I think it's actually what it's called. So, yeah. Considering how many shops are down there. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely a mall. drop off here. Not really. my attention. Four and a half hours chat. Star Wars trailers dropping. Have you seen Marsha around? Girl with black hair and the spirit of youthful rebellion? That means you haven't seen her then? Skip. Nights or work. I've already destroyed so many times, I don't need to see it all. Watch your step, it's a mess up here. Are you a bill? She was supposed to. Her? I'm going. Let's. Did I level up? I think that was a. Uh... I'll show those raiders who's boss. I think that was a. No, we didn't. Okay. Base breaker. Uh huh. Forgot about this thing. Max. Okay. Don't yeah, that's uh. Atlas is a work in progress. I should see if anyone needs help with anything. As a score level up, not a level level up. All right. Let's see here. Come on, Max. I need you to tell me where your sister's at, cause we know she's hanging out with the Raiders. Are you here to help me find my? Yep. Skip. Well, I, I just know she would never. Ramirez, where's what's her face? Thought running my own operation would involve this much paperwork. Ad Victory, how can I help you? What? Missing. Uh, <laughs> I can't be sure. Good luck. New recruits, night shift. I thought Atlas was impenetrable. We'll learn from that mistake. I can do more than just... Alrighty, up we go. There's so much to teach us. Honestly, we can just follow the railroad tracks for a bit and we'll just deviate off afterwards.
You want to turn on the stream? Yep. There's only one trailer. I don't, I, I don't know of a second trailer. It's the Star Wars story trailer for uh, Star Wars Outlaws. Which I'm assuming is going to have a release date attached near the end of it. Be kind of weird if they didn't. Unless they give us, if they give, if they don't give us a release date for Outlaws today, it's going to be like, they're going to have to do it at Star Wars Celebration, which is obviously like the, you know, the yearly, hey everyone, we're going to have a big convention for Star Wars on May 4th, right? Uh, May the 4th be with you, get it? May the 4th be with you? Eh, that's when they celebrate, so that's when they, whenever I say celebration, that's what I'm referring to. Uh, they could release the date then. <clears throat> It'd be really weird though, because, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, there's been tons of, like, pictures from GameStop employees, uh, or people who have been into a GameStop and seen the employees, like, setting out all the promo material, uh, the promotional material, you know, for, like, pre-order Star Wars Outlaws, you know, and that kind of shit, right? Or, like, big cutout things, you know? You know what I'm talking about, if you've ever been in, like, a GameStop or EB Games or a game store like that, you know? So, if they're already putting out promo material before the story trailer, there's gonna be a pre-order date, right? There's gonna be a date, right, attached to this trailer. There has to be. Um, now, if it comes out in May, that would be sick. If it comes out at the start of May, that'd be amazing. Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen, though. Uh, I think, realistically, June makes sense, because uh, Star Wars Acolyte, which is a TV show, is uh, starting on June 4th. So I could see it dropping um, around the start of that show or near the end of that show. Which would be like the end of July. I hope it's not. July would be. I mean, June would still be good for release date. July, anything like July pass, I'm gonna not be happy at all. <laughs> Cause that means I gotta wait a lot while, and I, I don't wanna wait, man. I don't wanna wait. Bender not responsible for your safety. Or the safety. Wanna let me sell the face breaker? Oh, buddy. Purchase. Come on, really? Really? That's annoying. But yeah, I'll be watching that on stream, and I'll probably stop and rewatch it. Uh, but of course, it's only Twitch because I'm gonna have to kill the YouTube VOD because I don't want random fucking YouTube claiming it or the inevitable Star Wars music playing in it getting it fucking claimed. Because, like, technically, reacting to, like, a video or whatever is perfectly fine under, like, you know, the Creative Commons license and shit. But the problem is, when there's music, they're gonna try and claim it, and it's like, ugh. I'm just not gonna fucking bother that shit. Of course, Radiation Rumble pops up on all the way fuck it up north. God damn it, man. Whatever, we'll hit 50 soon. What up, you man? How's it going? But yeah, that'll be nice. We got, what, uh, four hours and 20 minutes? Giggity. Until that, uh, comes out. Let's see, open anymore. Yep. Four hours away. 138 people, 39 people waiting. On the premiere of the trailer. We can start making our way towards the edge here. Finding our way down. Just one rank. That's all I need. One rank and gun food, and we'll be good. <sighs> ah, shit. Sorry.
Ah, we'll be fine. There's a dot on the map here indicating there's an NPC close, but uh, it disappeared very quickly. Did he get killed? Oh, well, <laughs> someone just got fucking murdered. Oh, it's a ghoul. Huh. Was there actually somebody here? I saw the white dot on the map for like a split second. Definitely was one here. Huh. Weird man. Too settled in. Just because you've done us a few favors doesn't mean we're all buddy buddy. <laughs> I'm all for taking what ain't mine. Marsha, come on, we gotta go. We need to do something about them. I'll go. It's my fault anyway. I know you're eager to help, but Sheena and Burke are the best there is. Anything that gives them trouble is going to be extremely dangerous. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Shut the fuck up, Hope. What is it? You have some. I'll let Marsha. Hell no, I'm. If we stand. Sheena and Burke Marcia. And AMS well, it wasn't my... Marsha, she's been... I... I feel better. One of us? I'll... You being willing to put... I'll meet... AMS? Where the fuck is AMS? Don't tell me it's I all the way down here. No, it's not. Okay, so where the fuck here. is AMS? What the fuck is AMS? How do I not remember this? I thought it was the fucking Watoga, or Robco, but that's not it. Oh! No, that's all the way down there. I don't remember this part. I'm gonna have to I go through the fucking salt and shit. Probably getting into some oh my god, that's such a long fucking run, dude. Oh boy. Amos headquarters. What is going on here? I remember we find like. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, we gotta go upstairs and we'll find like the uh, the friends dead from all like the protectrons and shit. Yeah, we got a run and a half, that's for damn sure. 
Uh, I mean, inside's probably not gonna be that bad. It's just, uh, if I get unlucky on the way down, going through town. On top of that, like, I wanted to hit 50 up here so I could craft my shit. Like, we're a sliver away. Like, I could craft my shit, like, right here. Like, there's no player bases between here and there. I guess I could stop at my base if I kill stuff along the way. That'll, that'll be good enough. I'm just trying to hit 50. If we hit 50, that means I can craft the uh, gun upgrade and a better armor and a backpack. Assuming I have the materials, of course. I guess I could probably check right now. Uh, uh, yeah, well, we're here because we... Uh, fuck it, whatever. We'll get stuff on the way. We can, we can craft stuff at the White Springs if we need to. Let's we'll get out of the zone. God, I can't wait for the fault show. It's gonna be so good. Gonna get up onto the road. So we'll be fine. It won't be hard to figure out. So chat, y'all watch anything good recently? I gotta know if you have. I'm still working my way through Tokyo Vice. It's good. I think I'm like halfway maybe. <sighs> Definitely finish up on my days off. Looks like it might rain later. What up, Cliff? How's it going, dude? Four hours, eight minutes. We're closing in, chat. God, I hope they give us a release. If they don't give us a release date, at the end of that fucking trailer, I'm gonna be pissed. Are you ready for Fallout TV? We are. We are. Uh, they helped me out, because uh, usually Amazon shows, they either drop it like the night before, if it's like 
they do like a two episode premiere or whatever, you know, sometimes they'll do it the night before. But I was worried they're going to drop it at 6 p.m. on like Thursday because I, I usually start streaming Friday morning. So I'm like, oh, buddy, I don't want to stay up late and fucking maybe we'll just cancel the Friday stream, you know. But uh, they pushed it a day early, so now I can just watch it on my day off. I'll just watch it all Thursday. I'll wake up and I'll just fucking go straight into that. It's going to be amazing. Um, but yeah, excited for that. More excited for the Star Wars trailer today, because we hopefully get a fucking release date for Outlaws. And if it's a soon release date, that'd be amazing. I mean, they have to they have to be giving us a release date, right? Because they're putting up fucking promo material on all the fucking GameStops and shit, man. Material doesn't have the release date, from what I'm seeing. This yet. But it's like the big fucking, you know, cardboard cutouts and shit, you know? It's like, ugh. Or the posters, it's like, bro. Come on. We need it. I need it. Listen, he was coming right at me, chat, okay? You don't don't fucking look at me that way. Not gonna lie, Cliff, I saw the sabers and until I moused over them, I was like, it kind of looked like the fucking. It, it maybe doesn't look that close to it, but it reminds me of like the icon for like Fextra Life or whatever the fuck. And it's like, oh, buddy. I don't know, have they even been streaming since they got fucking their embed shit fucking broken? I don't think I've seen them. I feel like I checked, like a couple months after, and I haven't streamed since. It's fucking great, by the way. The blight on the platform. They're probably just doing it on YouTube, to be fair. <laughs> I gotta know. Oh, they don't have any past broadcasts at all. Past broadcasts. Zero. Yep. Yep. That feels good, man. And they're supposed to be live right now. They still have their schedule set. They still have their schedule set on Twitch. They're they usually live, it looks like, at 2 a.m. doing some kind of gaming FPS action adventure thing, swapped to, to a different guy doing a gaming variety and beard. And then a different person would be in the evening. And then it says, this guy's gonna be playing Diablo on Thursday. <laughs> it's like, I think they just fucking completely abandoned Twitch. Oh, that's, I mean, you know, I, I should, you should never do that chat and you know, delight in the plight of others but when you're doing what you're doing you know exploiting the fucking embed system to fucking view bot your way to the top of every single fucking category of every new game uh no nah, fuck them are you single why are you asking is there life beyond the stars That shit was always fucking annoying. Like, ugh. I'm, it's not like I'm any big streamer anymore. Not ever was big streamer. I was medium at best, but still, you know. There were times when it's like, I definitely could have been higher up the directory or the top of the directory, but it's like, nope. Okay. <laughs> Extra life's just being a fucking asshole. It's like, nah, dude. Uh-uh. So. Fuck Vexor Life and their fucking website. Nope. <sighs> We're good. I love that they just completely just stopped all together. It's like... Uh... I wonder what they uh, told sponsors, you know? Because they were probably getting a bunch of big fucking sponsor deals, I imagine, right? 
Like. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that's what happens. You build a house of cards, man. Fuck that. Anyways, I'm looking forward to the Star Wars trailer today. We're gonna watch that at the end of the stream, obviously. We got uh, four hours until it's coming out. That'll be good, hopefully. Uh, I'm just biggest thing is I don't mean I don't really care about whatever they do. I'm gonna be playing it anyways, and I'm buying it if I have to. But uh, the biggest thing is, man, I, I need them to fucking give me a release date. And I need them to give me a soon one. Like I said a zillion times. I don't think May's happening. May would be fucking... Ex I would be ecstatic, alright? If they release it like a round fucking celebration, that'd be so sick. I don't think it's enough lead up, though. Because uh, that's the fourth, right? So it's technically just under a month. I don't know if they want to have only like uh, under a month of pre-order time, right? So it'll probably be like mid to late May if it does happen, which is still pretty soon-ish, you know? But, uh, I don't know. Realistically, it's probably going to be more June. It's just a question of like, are they going to drop it before the Ubisoft forward? Because that's like their E3 thing, right? Are they going to drop it for like right after that? Because the Star Wars Acolyte starts on June 4th, I think. At least that's what Google said before I started the stream, or as the stream was starting, you know, I looked it up, so, I don't know. We shall see. This will hopefully this group will push me over the edge of 50. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, oh, fuck, I hate that. There's no one here? Okay, there's people here. Okay, one guy. What the fuck, buddy? That's not enough XP. Hello, well, there's just one guy here. What the fuck. That's boring. I guess I can go up the cliff real quick here and hit the guys in the camp. Although I did hit them earlier, they're gonna respawn by now. Hmm, good question. My 50. Let's go. That perk pack, baby. What we get? We get a gun foo? Nope. Nope. No. Alright. Give me that gun foo. Alright. Sir. Beautiful. What does the, uh, the ranks on this thing do? 10, then 30, 10, 30, and 60. Damn. Damn, extra levels are pretty good. So, um, one of the next level ups, we take out Expert Rifleman and we slap an Expert Commando. That'll max out that category. And then we have two extra points to be slapping in, which we can put into, I'm thinking, Adrenaline? I don't know if adrenaline's as needed, frankly. Oh, what the fuck? He walked right up here? Jesus. Any more? There should be more, right? There we go. Ooh, alright. Let's go make ourselves a better fixer and a stealth suit, finally. Good to go.
Why is it that I keep seeing somebody? Okay, huh. There's a Raider Thief there, chum. Yeah, I was walking towards him a little bit ago, and then he wasn't there. Yeah, I like warp around today, man. It's been weird. <sighs> man, I could go for some fucking nuclear winter right now, man. That mode was so much fun. Alrighty, so, uh, uh, do we have any cards to equip when we're making these? I don't think so. Nah, we'll be fine. Uh, we have, oh, we don't have any high int. We should probably, do we have a card station in here? Selenia structure, maybe? Where's the... I think it's a crafting station, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Default, which is endurance maxed out, but we also want intelligence maxed out. There we go. Swap our cards. Get uh, what gunsmith, I think, is what we need for crafting. It breaks slower. I don't know if that's actually needed. Uh, let's see if we need anything for that. Machined fixer. 50. There we go. How'd the durability of that bitch come out is a real question. Oh, yeah. Forget about the extra, like, 50% or whatever it is. Just the, uh... The max alone is fucking way better. Cool. All right, so now we mod it. Let's see here. My current one has aligned, aligned, tweaked. Tweaked, aligned, aligned. So tweaked, aligned, and then paint job. Cool. Tweak. Uh-oh. Oh, car's gunsmith. Okay, it's fine. Gunsmith is useful for some stuff. Tweaked, lined, long. Okay, Ooh. so everything's the same except for the paint job. Fantastic. We'll rip the paint job off of you. Same now. Up you back to the Vault Tech. Cool. All right. Fantastic. Five point damage upgrade. That'll be very nice. Now armor. Do we need an armor thing for this? Do we have armor cards? I don't. Guess there's free ball in it. Hopefully we have the materials for it. Stealth armor. We're missing ballistic fibers. Son of a bitch. We need a lot of fiber. We need 16. Oh well, that's the rest of the stream, I guess. Fuck. 16 fiber, huh? Now, is White Knight for making it cheaper? Or is it Armorsmith? I have any Armorsmith cards, so it's kind of useless anyway. Fuck. That's annoying. Oh, we can make a backpack, probably. So we need 16 ballistic fiber. Bummer. All right. Well, um, 16 seems like a lot. It does. It does. Um, we can get there. Uh, we're gonna go look and see if we can find some vendors that sell bulk. Cause if we can find two bulks, we're good. We got caps for it, I'm pretty sure. Although I'm going to have to turn around real quick. Ah, we can check the train station, actually. That'll be fine. Check the train station, because I know I have some... Uh, fucking whatchamacallit. Uh, I'm brain farting right now, big time. I have some resource packages, I think. 
I don't know what's in them. These things. Nope, no ballistics. Okay. Might get lucky. There might be some. The available. A lot of stuff we didn't actually break down. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Yikes. Listen, these things happen, okay? We don't really have storage issues, to be fair. Please don't stab other Hey, ballistic fiber. Psh, we're good. There's an armor bench right here. We don't even have to go anywhere, chat. Ain't no problem. White Knight's, uh... Armor? No, White Knight is definitely for repairs for cheaper. I just don't remember if it's making it for cheaper. White Knight is 100% for uh, regular armor. I know because I have that on my main characters. Whenever I swap to my crafting build, it's part of those builds. Um, you're thinking of Fix It Good. Fix It Good, but also, actually no, no, Fix It Good, that's Power Patcher. Power Patcher is armor. Um, I don't know about armor creation. Um, but White Knight, I know, is for 100% for cheaper repairs. I just don't remember if it's also cheaper creation. But Fix It Good is so you, if you slap on White Knight and Fix It Good, Fix It Good has the image of a power armor piece. That one gives you double durability when you repair, which is really nice, obviously. White Knight just does so cheaper. Hey, all right, let's get it, baby. Berserk. Mm-hmm. Look at that extra fucking... I don't have any resist right now, so... Yeah, that'll be nice. Very, very nice. Can I sell my old one? Probably not, right? Owned, loot I don't think so. It's one of those things that, like, you have to get from questing, so free. selling it to a vendor means other people could buy it, and so they don't let you do that, because that'd be fun detected. All right, we're good. Sorry about that. Let's blow my nose. Armor super mods. Yeah, there you go. Oh, armor is also like you have to have it for like, more advanced mods. But we're talking about creation. Mods don't matter. So White Knight definitely, I think, could have helped. Now I'm curious about that one, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just for repairs, it says. Yeah, it's not about creation. Does not matter. We have everything we need. New backpack, new gun, new armor, new me. And now we're off to Watoga. God damn it. We still need some levels. I think we need, what, three levels, right? Because we have two points of agility we need to take up. Um, technically, we could do three. We could drop this one as well. Oh, that's kind of useful. We need at least one point in that, and then it needs two point in those. To swap some shit around. So the build is not fully complete yet, but we're getting there. No perk for making it cheaper? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess I'm just hyper focused on White Knight for the repair because uh, <clears throat> it's always a pain in my ass. At least it was for a while on my main. Um, always having to use like ballistic fiber to repair shit was a pain in the ass. Oh, ah, oh, Gunfu, how I missed you! I don't have to do anything. I just hit fucking vats once, and it just auto just takes it away, baby. I'm looking on wait. Oh, we got plenty. Ain't no thing. I wish you go back and cook some shit up real quick. We're not that far. Let's go a uh, little bit of back track here. Hit up the grill next to the uh, train station. Get ourselves a nice little barbecue going on. Chat, I'm starving. Okay. We got a long time. Or the trailer's coming, and I can eat afterwards. Yeah, a little under four hours, man. What are y'all uh, eating today? What you, uh, what are you snacking on? You know? Gotta know. Gonna make some sauce and egg tacos. Ooh, that's all good. You gonna add some cheese on there, Cliff? If so, what kind? What up, Bacon? How's it going? cheese too? Alright, the question is Cliff, what kind of cheese though? <gasps> oh, hello. Does Future Man even still stream? Speaking of that global email, I haven't seen him in ages. Last I remember hearing about him was like, they straight up like ripped off his whole persona for uh, like a Hulu show or some shit. Like, even the costume was like a pretty much a fucking direct rip off. It was really weird. I was like. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? I remember, I think I saw somebody fucking mention that shit. I don't remember where. Plan on making some pork chops and slow cooker today? Oh, man, that sounds fucking good, dude. Let them cook for like six hours? Bro. Pork chops are fucking amazing. I grew up uh, on a lot of fucking homegrown fucking pork, so. Do love me some pork chops, man. Ooh, slow cooker, too? Do love me slow cooker stuff. That sounds like a good fucking day right there. That's for sure. Especially because slow cookers are just like, you just slap the shit in there and you don't have to do like anything. Occasionally you might like every little bit you fucking pop the lid off and fucking stir it so something doesn't burn on the bottom. But like, you just, you're just good. It's like, you don't have to do shit for that, man. Slow cookers are like easy mode cooking and it's fucking great and I love them. Plus, on top of that, like, after a little bit, once it starts getting going, you know, it's like the smells just start wafting through the house. It's like, yes. Yes. I 
Yeah, you need to get one, KG. They're just like... Z. You don't have to do a damn thing, pretty much. Hey guys, I looted Facebreaker a half hour ago, or an hour ago plus. <laughs> uh, missing persons, wow, the quest pop-up finally happened for the one that I'm on. Some people own instant pressure cookers, and most of them have a slow cooker function. Yep. Yep, yep. Yeah, crock pots are fucking great, man. Well, to be fair, KG, every every gamer needs PC upgrades eventually, okay? And then on top of that, beds are like, you, you gotta go in on a bed. When you, like, you don't go cheap, you know? Like, that's something you're spending a lot of your life on, you know? So... You don't skim on things like those, so... I don't think anybody can really blame you for those purchases, you know? Awesome bitch. He's friendly. I'll leave him. Oh, but he's getting shot at by the fucking turret. The turret doesn't care if he's friendly. I think it's good to get his enameled cast iron Dutch oven. I guess in one of his made turns last year, yeah. Oh yeah, no, I don't blame you at all now in KG. Whatsoever. Automated 
Traffic flash warning. Mass of scorched reported in your vicinity. Have forward observer use recon scope for defiance artillery strike at Victorium. I mean, we're here. We might as well, right? I don't have a recon scope, though. God, I love gun food. It's so fucking good, dude. Ah. Ah, oh, I miss this perk card. The damage isn't even, like, the damage is nice, sure, but it's not needed whatsoever. Just the auto-swapping feature is so fucking good. Motherfucker, can't th shoot through a goddamn chain link. Or at least I can't bash through it. Did I get them all? Yes, we did. Yeah, 76 is a great vibe. I love it. That's why I usually come back for permadeath, because I've already been there and done that, all the content on my mains and my alts even, you know? Like, so. I need something to do, and, uh, doing permadeath, as you can see the rules on the top left corner there, uh, they, uh, keep me playing. Because I enjoy spending time in this game, but, like, there's nothing really to do outside of starting fresh characters, and how do I start fresh character? Well, you... Kill one off and, you know, get started again. So this one's been going pretty good. Um, every time I die, I have a roulette wheel. Let me see if I can find it. Roulette. Do, 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 do. Bill I spin whenever I get a new character, uh, which adds an extra modifier. This one has no legendary gear, which fucking sucks, but it's also good. And then, of course, we have a, uh, a list of quests that I go through and I try and get completed. Um, you know, that's like, once I complete that entire list, then it's like, hey, I completed a run and I figure out what the highest level I've been. Um, or I guess I should say the, the highest I made it in completion. I haven't actually completed it yet. The highest permanent left character is 104, as you can see in the top right. That's it. So, uh, I have yet to complete a run. I got real fucking close in the last one, but I died to some bullshit when I was doing uh, encrypted because someone started it fucking early because they're an asshole. Um, and the last character couldn't have mutations so I couldn't like jump and hide from the fucking Saltron. But yeah, this character can't use legendary so I'm stuck on a uh, character that has no safety net which is kind of a big deal for permadeath because usually I end up getting lucky uh, across the leveling process and doing events and shit, and I end up getting at least one life-saving piece, which is, you know, 50% chance to self-revive yourself if you get knocked down. I don't have that, so if I, if I get knocked down, I have to hope there's another player in the area to save me. Which, you know, is super unlikely, unless I'm at, like, an event, you know? So this character is a stealth commando build uh, to compensate, and I have, I have no legendary gear. I got a stealth suit and I got a fixer that's not legendary. It's like we got stealth suit. This is just a piece of shit. I'd have to sell it for caps, and then a fixer, and that's it. So uh, it's very different from my normal.
permadeath because I typically end up leaning into uh, a heavy demo build like my main. I usually end up getting like explosive LMGs and then like a, a fucking grand finale cannon, you know, which is fun. But uh, it's usually what we're doing here. We show up and she's immediately getting downed. Marsha, what are you doing? Let's keep going. I could have handled them on my own, you know. Uh huh. Sure. I've had. Now that that's. You're on your knees, like you, they're about to execute already... you. Okay. What are you talking about? I gotta handle them myself, you know. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I got really lucky. Um, I think. I found a fixer plane on like I I spent like a part of a day as I was walking across the map doing the early wastelanders quest lines Every time I was passing a player base I would stop and like look and I end up getting super lucky and finding a fixer plan for like 2k caps or something like that Some obscenely cheap amount um, So I picked it up so I could craft my own fixers. So I actually have like a level 50 fixer as well So we're looking pretty good And right now, we've already burned through all of the starter quest line. Because that's usually the first thing I do, which is the Wastelander quest line and shit. Usually, I end up finishing it for the Raiders, because the Raiders end up giving me the Slugbuster uh, plasma gun, which is good. But I can't use it, because it's a legendary. So, I end up doing it for the uh, Settlers this time. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of chilling, burning through right now. We're going through the Brotherhood quest line. Okay, that explosion could have been really bad if that was a fucking. If I was a little bit closer. Like, I have a decent amount of protection with this uh, suit, but it's still not amazing. No fast travel? Oh, yeah, no fast travel. We have to walk everywhere, which is great, frankly, because that means I have to deal with all the giant cliff sides in the game. You know, and then that means potentially fall damage if I have to, you know, if I try to decide to like try and scale down the cliff. I've died. I've lost like a couple characters that way. It's not good. <laughs> um, and then I have run into so many random encounters as well on the Those way, so I end up like trying to pick routes that are gonna be like, like okay, you know, I can usually issues. like if I'm trying to go from like the fire breathers quest line up to the top of the world to do the start the raider stuff, I usually end up following the road, but I have to like skip over this spot because I don't want to deal with the scorch beast right here. There's a lot to it. On top of that, because I've played so much of this game, like, after a while, when you're playing it, you start, like, fast traveling around normally. So you end up missing a lot of random encounters uh, as a result. So I've seen, actually, a lot of random encounters that I have just never seen. I, like, I'm pretty sure just the other week I saw one that was I still hadn't, and I've never seen. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, so it's, it's been pretty fun to do that, for sure. Necklace. I know that necklace. I'd recognize that. That's Bert's. My mom. Maybe I. At least we know. But yeah, doing the actual content, a lot of. Like, there are a few. Th at this point, with this character, random surprises could get me. But for the most part, it's going to be certain quests where there's certain, like, mobs that haven't been nerfed, you know? Like, there's, I don't remember, I think it's the Enclave quest line? Somewhere along the line, I'm going to have to fight uh, an imposter sheep squatch, and that thing could fuck my shit up. I actually got down on a character with it before. But the life-saving armor saved me, so I was good. Um... But uh, yeah, there's there's definitely some plenty of stuff that could definitely fuck my shit up for yeah. sure, or I just randomly that. not realizing mobs are rushing me, you know? That's why they, they I'm do so tons of damage. Of all the blood and death. Come on. Oh, we're going upstairs. Okay, all right, all right. What does that note say? Did you read it yourself, goddammit? So 
I like how I bent down, picked it up, unfolded it, read it, scrunched it back up, dropped it on the ground so she could find it. A note from Sheena, the raider. <laughs> of Monday, we're almost. Okay, it's delayed, okay. How'd you step in mole rat shit all the way up here? Or did you only realize you just tracked it through the entire building? Hello? Open. The is that me? Is oh, there we go. That'd be why. I like how these guys are doing like a shady deal for some ultrasight. here and we gotta get in there but like I'm trying to remember how we aggro him because he opens up the shutters and starts spending sending shit at us I think that's it I guess I don't know yeah, okay really you and that little girl are the ones giving my mercs all we help spawn robots yeah he does okay Oh, there's some actual mobs too. There we go. Hey, show yourself. Let me vat you. He's the only real threat here, because I think he comes out with like a laser gatling or some shit. Slowpoke to get in view. Come on. Come on. Commencing attack on hostile. Oh, that's a legendary, huh? Okay. That explains why I couldn't kill him fast. <laughs> She's downed already. <laughs> I'd like to see you try, buddy. Oh, he's got a big gun. <gasps> okay, we're fine. We're fine. We got we got resistances still. Okay. We're fine. We need some AP though, big time. Let's get some water going. <laughs> she just keeps getting downed. Jesus Christ! He's a fucking tank, dude. Like, if the commando can't drop him that quickly, like, Jesus. There we go. Okay, the explosion one blew up, right? Yeah, okay, good. Oh no, it was Blue Ridge. No, oh, how could they do it? Anyways. Did you find out 
fortune and birth. Yeah, that Blue Ridge. Capture? See if you can. I have no. Please. To the basement. I don't know if I've actually hit her with a pot shot. I feel like you're being a bit presumptuous there, KG. I know you got clips of me pot shotting all everybody, but I don't know if I ever actually pot shot her, okay? Are there rules to permadeath runs? Top left corner. These are my rules. As you can see, flashing on the screen for you. In addition to those Automated rules... Automated mining services welcomes you to the home of industry. Visitors, please see our receptionist. Welcome. In addition to those rules, um, I also have a modifier I add on per for every character. This particular character can't do legendaries. Of course, I determine that by using the uh, roulette wheel. So, anytime I character, we just fucking spin the roulette wheel and uh, see what we got. And this time we got uh, no legendaries. So, we are stuck on, well I say stuck, but the best choice in my opinion if we can't use legendaries would probably be a stealth commando, because we can use a stealth suit as well as getting a fixer. Got real lucky getting a fixer to begin with. So we're good. Can you buy from Play Avengers? I could, but I can't use legendaries. Because this character just can't use legendary gear at all. I did get my, uh, Fixer plan from a player vendor. I got lucky because obviously this is a fresh character. I don't have the that much money. So the normal price at least settlers. But they used to go for like what 30 10 to 30k at least for fixer plans I found one of like 2k caps or something like that some ridiculously low amount. So I got real lucky on this character to find one. Ooh, that's a three star. I can't use whatever you got. Gotta sell it off. Wait. Okay, it's showing. It's sh it's showing the, the previous piece I looted. I was about to say. Wait, didn't I just kill a three star? Was that not a three star? Or was it a two star? I guess it was a two star. I guess no. Did I not loot it? No, I did. I guess it was that. I guess it was the two star armor. I guess. All right, whatever. Whatever. Whatever, man. What are you doing here? The Brotherhood, I, there, but anyway. Been better. Good work on giving us. Don't. Oops. We didn't hit him though. Hit the bars, okay? Hey. Hey. Okay. You, I mean, you're right though. Marsha, no. I'm not, I'm, I hope you think you're right. <clears throat> for everything. Okay, again, that one missed. I'll see you back at Fort Atlas. <laughs> Always, almost assassinating people. Yes, almost. We definitely didn't kill Mike yesterday. <clears throat> definitely didn't do that. Nope. Definitely an almost situation. Always almost. Definitely never happens. Nope. Listen, I hadn't pot shot her yet. Okay. We also didn't hit her. We should we took some something a little close, but you know, uh, listen, we spam uh, through the dialogue. We've heard her design times. Things happen, right? They should know better not to stand directly in front of my gun. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Anything? I didn't either. See, ain't no, ain't no problems at all. 
Ah, uh, chat. Three hours, seventeen minutes. We're closing in. God, I hope they give us a release date. If they don't give us a release date, I'm gonna be pissed. There's no way they can't. Like, there's no way. <gasps> We're fine. We're fine. Uh, okay. What, what do we hit? What do we hit on her? What do we hit on her? Okay. Woo! I just got to spam. I just like I just kept hitting that fucking space bar, spamming the crits on her. Hate Saltrons, man. I hate Saltrons so fucking much, dude. And the secrets of West Tech. Why do I have that fucking quest? Because I walked past it? Get that shit out of here. I miss the old days, man, when you could have legendary robots around here. This place was a great farm. You could literally just walk in circles around Watoga over and over and over, just killing fucking uh, legendaries. Just like to clear them out, and the legendary would probably spawn somewhere in the route. So good. Do hold space right down. Uh, I usually end up spamming it, cause I have like a this is a full like stealth commando vats build right, so I have a lot of stuff that'll like build the uh, the crit out real quickly. You got here, bud. Here. Oh, he keeps the distillery and the moonshine in here. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Trying to keep that shit on the down low. I see your game there, bud. Ooh, candy. Tea. And cake. And coffee. And candy. Oh, popcorn? Someone got the popcorn, those bastards. Does Bamma crit uh, faster than holding it down? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I hold it down. I don't know. I think it just... I don't think I have, like, a method to it. I think it's more just, like, whatever I do in the moment. Holding it might be better, because that means maybe I might not accidentally jump when I run out of, uh, AP, you know? Bones, huh? Boost sneaking and increases AP. And reduces strength, increases risk of limb damage. I mean, 500. That's a little expensive. It wouldn't be terrible though. I don't think I need it though. I think I'm doing okay enough as is. Wait, they actually gave me that? They, I guess the stealth suit is considered a costume. The ghillie suit isn't considered a costume, but a fucking stealth suit is? What a load of shit, dude. What a load of shit. <laughs> I remember the 7 FPS White Springs Farming Festival when the game first came out. Uh, I don't I don't remember it being that bad in FPS, and I had only like a 980 Ti back then. I do remember that, though. Yeah, everyone uh, dropping like nukes over there and uh, farming the, all the ghouls. Those are the days. Plus, uh, the game was still new enough. People didn't have broken builds, so people like PvP over shit occasionally as well, just because they're just, just doing what they do, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, White Springs farming was the shit. It was fun. 
game was a different vibe back then. I love what it is now, don't get me wrong. But, yeah, it's not the same. The biggest thing I miss though is the fucking nukes in winter, because the, the BR was so much fun. BR was so much fun. Scorch me spawn, huh? I'm okay with this. Listen, they didn't... Uh, listen, Mike got blown up with the rocket launcher explosion, okay? <laughs> we have the hollow tape. Uh, wait, does the hollow tape... <gasps> the hollow tape actually would tell us that he's still alive. Oh no. Okay, well good thing that we didn't give him the hollow tape. But listen, there's there's an explosion, right? They we they know uh, it was an accident. They just don't need to look for two bodies. Fine, we'll be fine. Yeah, uh, the problem with, uh, like, Twitch isn't, I don't know, because I've never had actually had an actual strike. It's just like, hey, uh, we found copyright music. We muted it just to be safe, you know? Like, I just get tons of those if I accidentally leave the radio running in this game, you know? Because the ambient music's perfectly fine. That's actually all in-house stuff, but some of the radio stuff is what gets you hit, which is really annoying. As much as, like, Fallout Radio is a classic, it's like, I can live without it, you know? Even when I'm doing, like, the Fallout 3 runs, you know, it's, it's easy enough to, like, turn that off. Because I was, I, I mean, I guess I did a full, like, 3 New Vegas run earlier, and then I'm most of the way through a 3 run, but I got, like, to the DLC soon, so maybe I'll do this Friday? I don't know. I'll get back to that eventually. But, uh, the ambient in 3 in New Vegas is not nearly as good as 76. 4 has some okay ambient music as well. But the radio is definitely where those games are. It's definitely a different vibe having it on, but. That's what it is, I guess. But, like, getting a YouTube VOD or a Twitch VOD muted is like, eh, whatever, you know? But the problem is, I dual stream on uh, YouTube, so I have VODs that last forever, and, uh. <laughs> then it's like, if a random VOD takes off, if a fucking song was playing, it's like, oh, look, they get the money, or I just don't get any at all. It's like, fuck off. I don't know what's worth, like, like muting a VOD and so people can't, like, hear however long that music is going for, or, uh, just, like, having it completely fuck any potential revenue down the line, it's like, I don't know. I guess the fact that the VOD still exists in its, like, native form, you know, on YouTube, I guess that's good, but, I don't know. It's not like I make much off of YouTube to begin with, so it doesn't really matter, but it is annoying. Because the algorithm randomly gives out VODs here and there, so they get pushed out for extra views, and it's like... Well... Fucking ad revenue better fucking be there, assholes. <laughs> like, fuck. Yeah, I don't remember the, the DMCA purge happening around the time of this game. I really don't. But it's probably because they don't listen to that much of the shit to begin with, you know? I remember being bad, like, people posting that shit on, like, LSF or whatever, because, like, you could, uh, people could, like, if there was something that would get them muted normally. Uh, they could, like, even though the streamer deleted the clip, there would still be a clip of it on the- Oh, God. Oh, yeah, no, we're good. We're good. I'm gonna find a blue devil. There would still be, like, a clip of it saved on the back end that the API from, like, the, uh, fucking music companies could actually still scrape and get, and it's like, what the fuck? What's the point of deleting a clip then, you assholes? Like, Twitch really fucked that one up. That was fucking hilarious. 
Yeah, that's the thing though. The purge like didn't really matter to me because like I don't have VODs that last forever. They only last 60 days. Most streamers have that. So like the whole like great purge was like not really a big deal. I feel like it was just more like a big like, oh, let's freak out. The sky is falling, but nothing actually came of it at all. I think I've only ever, like the amount of streamers who actually got like DMCA strikes or takedowns because of music on Twitch. I feel like the amount of them can be fucking summed up on one hand, you know, or less. <laughs> like, I don't think it's happened that many fucking times, you know? Like, I get why Twitch mutes stuff and like, if they find like multiple copyright, because the way it's set up right now is like, if there's copyright music, they'll just be like, hey, we muted some shit. Uh, they won't even tell you unless you do it multiple days in a row. If you do it multiple days in a row, then I get an email and it's like, hey, we uh, auto changed your settings so your VODs don't auto publish after. They'll auto hide. You have to like republish those VODs that we hid and then you have to uh, turn the setting back on. And I'm just like, oh, okay. It's a minor inconvenience at best. What's really annoying though is since I started doing like YouTube shit last year for shorts and then like actually doing occasional like edited videos, I got a big like you know, royalty free like YouTube library, right? To use in videos and shit. And it, it's decent like background ambient music, you know, for the stream. But the problem is some of those songs get muted on Twitch. And it's like, motherfucker. Like there's no issue with running those at all for the YouTube side, but they get muted on Twitch. It's like, fuck off, dude. <laughs> it's so fucking annoying. It's like, uh, what I need is a fucking the Twitch VOD track feature that works for fucking YouTube as well. Cause there's this fancy feature they added in uh, probably a couple years ago at least, where you can essentially hook in a plugin to OBS and then you can hook in, like uh, it's, it'd be really annoying as a streamer cause then I have to control audio levels on like a per program basis, which is annoying, but I would do it for the added benefits. Cause that means I could play literally whatever music I want and it's just not gonna show up on the VOD, right? But like my commentary and the gameplay will still be there, but the music won't, right? So it's only like a live only experience, which means you can't get fucking takedown for that shit, you know? Cause live takedowns just don't happen on Twitch straight up, you know? The problem is uh, separating it to like a VOD track or not, you know, whether or not it gets saved, uh, that doesn't work with if you're streaming at the same time to YouTube. So yeah, it's, it's a pain in the ass. So until they update that feature to like not send stuff to YouTube, I'm not gonna bother with that shit. Cause then it'd be nice. Then I could fucking like bust out Spotify or actual like music music, you know? And I can listen to whatever the fuck I want. And I don't have to worry about shit. Of course, you can't really do that for like the actual games, of course. So if like any games that have like Star Wars music playing in it or like the Fallout radio, most likely gonna get muted and shit. Which is really annoying. Uh, but there's nothing you can really do about that for uh, gaming. You just gotta hope that devs are smart enough to put in like streamer mode, you know, to uh, disable the copyrighted stuff, or just not put copyrighted stuff in it. Y2K, oh my god, that shit was fucking funny as hell, dude. The fucking panic over Y2K shit. Ah, the power grids are gonna go down! Oh no! The clocks are gonna change! Nothing fucking happened. Nothing fucking happened. Oh my god, it was so fucking funny, dude. It's like, bro. Like, the Y2K panic was worse than the 2012 Mayan calendar, the, the world ending shit. Like, Y2K was so, like, ah. Uh, ah, uh, that was great. Yeah, for move your money from the banks as well. <laughs> Yeah, this idiots. Like we don't know what's gonna happen to all these computers. When it hits zero zero, it's gonna tick over. Ah! Alright, we're almost back to the uh Brotherhood finally. Anybody see the eclipse yesterday? Obviously, I couldn't see shit. 
I was looking at a map of like how much I would have been able to see. I was like at 20% or some shit. Bro, it wasn't even worth fucking the getting outside to look at it at all. I watched some streams of it though, like some of the NASA shit, and it's like, it looked pretty good. Pretty cool. It's kind of crazy. Uh, even with like non-NASA grade like fucking telescope fucking lenses and shit like uh, I was watching a different streamer and like they even with, with their just like regular DSLR you could see the fucking like uh, I'm not gonna say solar flare but like the plasma fucking coming off the sun just with the naked eye it's like damn this is some cool shit I used to work with the folks at foundation hard workers but killing Nah, there's no way there was like an implement, <sighs> bro. In in '99, you're telling me there was a fix that went out? Nah. There were so many like people who just didn't have like dial-up even then, or like people didn't download and patches and shit like they do. Like the internet wasn't ubiqui ubiquitous back in fucking '99. This old place may hold. It was there was just no issue with it at all with fucking Y2K. It was just not a thing. Like people just didn't know what was gonna happen, back, so they freaked out. I don't know. Did well, like you discover? Like there might have been some places where like they actually did something to mm -hmm. fix it in advance, well, but like even just like <laughs> consumer grade computers, you know? There was yeah. I sure <laughs> as fuck know why we didn't start up our fucking computer and what? dial in to fucking get a patch for that shit, you know? Finding everyone that has gone missing is my top priority, but we need more evidence before we can act. Evidence? But what more do you need, huh? Are you saying my Jesse is a liar? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Initiate. Excellent timing. There's something we should discuss. I just wish we were in a better timeline, man. Really do. You know? Like, growing up, man, like, what's the future gonna be like? Ah, oh, we're gonna have flying cars and jetpacks and shit. And like, no, we don't. Like, okay, we have some, like extreme sports where they use fucking crazy ass fucking mini jet turbines to fucking make themselves hover those aren't like fucking consumer grade anyone can just slap on a jetpack and just fly without fucking issue we don't have flying cars like oh you have a flying car it's a fucking plane with wheels okay like that shit's fucking not for everybody man we need to fucking hover crap man we don't got any of that cool shit dude this is some bullshit i want a better future man i want to go back all right, we need to. We need to. I need to hop to a better timeline. Can I do that? Cause like, fucking a man. Y two K, bro. I swear there was a future where Y two K was just like, oh man, everything bad happened, but suddenly we got all the crazy technology or fucking I don't know, man. We got the boring timeline. We're like, eh, nothing happened with Y two K. We also don't get any cool tech. It's like, I want a refund. Yeah, I do, hundred percent. Mr. Nap here. My niece. Skip. <sighs> Blue Ridge, oh wow. Huh, interesting. That's what we heard from somebody else as well. Oops, sorry. We have the tamper proof plastic strips that are protecting the gas pumps. Oof, you're right. Whoo, doggy. Or the fucking, uh, whatever the anti fucking theft fucking things for like new clothing pieces that require like fucking a fucking uh, doctorate degree on how to fucking disassemble those pieces of shit, apparently. I saw a fucking LSF clip the other day of like someone got some kind of piece of clothes or whatever and like they the store forgot to remove the tag from it or whatever and so it's like it was like an hour long process to try and fucking get the fucking thing off it's like bro like I know how to fix things the stupidest shit gets made and all the cool stuff is just like relegated to fucking Fiction, man. Television or books, or whatever. It's like, bro, come on. I want some cool gadgets, dude. Where's our holograms, man? Huh? Where are these dope phones that are just like a tiny piece of like plexiglass or that doesn't fucking break, but like you can fucking project shit all over the fucking place, you know? Outlaws Religious releasing August 30th, apparently. No, don't tell me that. Why, where are you getting that information? They fucking give the date early? 
Don't do me like that. Oh, August is so fucking far away. I don't even know if I'll be streaming then, man. Fuck. Bro. You're kidding me. Source now. Ghost is source. Okay, sorry, Nightbot, gotcha. Oh, that's a Wario tweet now. He's actually reliable. Fucking uh, Let's see. Leaked by U Ubisoft's Japan premiere page for today's story. Oh, man. That's annoying. Video unavailable, it's private. Yeah. Way to come in and fucking deflate the mood, bro. Fuck you, Decepticons. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'd rather find out now than fucking watch the trailer and fucking get hit then, but god damn it, man. That's fucking annoying. Uh, August, bro? That's so far away, dude. Oh, and someone in the comments on fucking the the Reddit thread about it on the, the subreddit for Outlaws saying it's only a week away from Stalker 2. Bro. Bro, it's literally the end of August. Might as well be fucking September. That's so many fucking months away. What the hell am I supposed to do for the rest of the fucking year, man? I got nothing to look forward to for May, June, or July, or August. Because August 30th is the end of August. We got four months plus all of April. What the fuck am I supposed to do for the next almost five months, man? God, I have, there's literally nothing to look forward to this year, man. There's nothing. Fuck. This sucks, dude. We need a fucking stealth release for some one of these fucking extraction shooters. Because this shit in August is like... Ugh, it's so fucking annoying, dude. Holy shit. All of my hype for watching this trailer is out the window immediately. Like, August is so fucking far away. Like, I don't give a fuck about a story trailer for something five months away almost. Learn to code, bro? Yeah. Oh, you mean like fucking I did in college? And I have like a fucking degree for that I haven't done since fucking 2012? So I have 12 years out of date fucking C++ and C sharp knowledge that is in Java that's absolutely fucking useless because I never actually fucking buckled down and actually specialize in anything so I know a little bit of everything but not enough to get shit done other than making a fucking shitty ass 3D Pong game in Unity yeah I'm gonna pass on that one man the games industry can eat a dick there's a reason why I never got a fucking job in that shit and it's cause every single fucking job even the most basic entry level fucking QA jobs every single fucking one's like hey we want you to have a ship title we want you to have years of experience for this entry level position it's like fuck off with that shit man and they still do these days. So yeah, now I'm good. Fuck, dude. The God, August is so fucking far. That's so fucking annoying, man. Ugh. Like, that's September. That's fucking September. Like, that's... Ah, oh, God, that's so fucking annoying, dude. I wasn't expecting it to be fucking May or even June, but, like, July would have been like, okay, fine, you know? It's not that far. But the end of August, that's all of August. Like... Ah, <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, man. That's annoying as shit, dude. What a fucking letdown. That just ruined my fucking day. Could we work to be December? Yeah, not really. Like, it's past the point where I just, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to stream that game at that point, right? Like, I just, I don't even know if I'm going to be doing that. So, like, uh, it's just fucking annoying. And the problem is there's no other fucking good games coming this year. That's like the only thing on my fucking radar. 
So unless fucking we finally get some fucking news out of Starfield about their DLC, and they bring in the mod tools at the same fucking time, it's like one of these fucking extraction shooters needs to fucking release their shit because I got nothing else to look forward to whatsoever. ever. God damn, dude. That means they're gonna release fucking Outlaws and fucking the new Assassin's Creed within a few months of each other. That's kind of stupid on their part, man. I mean, I get it if the game's not ready yet, you know, but like, fuck, that's annoying, dude. How are they gonna fucking release that shit ranked st stalkers too, man? Like, that's so stupid. And not to say that I'm crazy hyped for stalker too. I haven't played any of these, the series. I mean, I've just seen a little bit of the trailers. I'm like, all right, that looks kind of cool, I guess. You know, but. Uh, I know everyone else and their mother's fucking excited for that shit, which means that's gonna fucking potentially kill fucking hype for outlaws. Although, I don't know. It's, that's such a stupid fucking release date, man. So stupid. GTA 6? Motherfucker, that's not even this year, dude. That's not even this year. Uh, let's see, where are we going? All the road for now. Racks for the road. Yeah, late August is not good. Like, that just killed all of my fucking hype for that game. Like, it's it's so far out of mind, I just don't care anymore. Because I can only focus on shit that's close, because, like, that's the only stuff I can know I'm going to be able to stream. And that shit that far away, I don't know. I don't even know if I'll be streaming then, man. Like, goddamn, dude. Fuck. That's so shitty. I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be the case. I bet you that is fucking not gonna be like an error. Uh, but I'm gonna laugh my ass off if that was like not the right date that they posted and that was like a miscommunication and so everyone's just running with that. I mean, <laughs> it's probably legit, you know? Like the video's privated. I'm sure some people actually saw the description of it and it would, you know, it's probably right, but. That's like point zero 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 one percent chance that actually being true. So uh, no, it's or uh, they, as I'd say that uh, that could happen. I should say because what they posted is probably right. Fuck, that's annoying, man. Do you think they would ever make another Far Cry game? Uh, I finished six, but it'd be cool if they made another game. Yeah, they did. It's called Avatar: Final Frontier, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> uh, yeah, the most recent Avatar game is it's it's Far Cry, but with an Avatar skin on top of it. I mean, Far Cry 7, yeah, Far Cry 7 will happen. 6 wasn't that long ago, though. I streamed that only like a year or two ago with Therm. So, 7... I could see 7 getting announced this year at E3. I'm not really hyped for that, though. Like, 6 was just kind of okay. Story was kind of meh. Like, I enjoyed 5. The story was fucking whack, though. I enjoyed 5 because it was smooth and it ran good enough, and, like, Therm and I played the entire thing co-op. Um... We did the entire thing six call, but it just didn't feel nearly as good. And on top of that, it was just kind of like there's a lot of frame jank with it, you know. Six compared, let down compared to five. Yeah, agreed. Wouldn't Avatar Buzz go further if it releases earlier in the year? Uh, I have no idea. I I can't speak to any of that because I don't know. The thing is, like. There's nothing big coming out in the next couple months, at least that I have any interest in, right? Um, there might be some big releases that other people might have interest in, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. Uh, you Ideally, for gaming, you want to like slap it in the middle of when like there's no other big games around. That way it gets like, not only does it get all of like the news attention cycle, but it gets all of like, hey, uh, I need something new to play. There's nothing new coming out. Ooh, Star Wars Outlaws. Let's play that, you know? Like, it needs to be like the, one of the only big games around right now, you know? Um, and putting it so close to Stalker 2, uh, people are gonna figure that out, and people are gonna be like, well, what do I get, you know? Like, that's definitely gonna be a choice people are gonna have to make. And sure, you could be like, ah, oh, yeah, but they'll obviously get outlaws because it's sooner. Not necessarily. 
There's a lot of negative uh, stigma around fucking Ubisoft. A lot of people don't like the Ubisoft formula or Ubisoftification or whatever of their open world shit, you know, with all the towers and whatnot, so. I don't know about that. I don't mind. I like their formula. Um, I get why people have Ubisoft fatigue, but like, combine that with setting it around uh, Stalker 2 release, that's not good for them at all. That's, <laughs> it's almost on par with uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, like releasing always around like big fucking games that fucked it. Like Horizon Zero Dawn released like right before, like right around the fucking new, like the, the first like Zelda on the Switch. And then I think the PC version also did that as well. Some shit, like, <laughs> they just... Uh, I'm fucking disappointed, man. Like, I wasn't expecting a May release that would've been sick. A June release would've been good, but I even wasn't expecting that. But like, mid-July at the latest, man. End of August, essentially September at that point, that's so fucking shitty, dude. Dude didn't even drop a bag. What a bastard. Uh, the weed fields, I'm pretty sure, was Far Cry 5. I don't know if there were... I guess, that, to be fair, I've only played Far Cry 5 and 6. I didn't play any of the other ones. No, I played 2. I played 2 back in the day, I guess. Um, But I don't remember there being weed fields in that. <laughs> Uh, but there was definitely, like, it wasn't weed, it was, like, some other weird, like, fucking psychotropic bullshit, you know? Because that was, like, the whole thing of Fallout 5, like, was how they had, like, this weird plant that would, like, fucking make you hallucinate all kinds of shit. Which is part of, like, the fucking intro for the stream, which is the whole, like, oh, I'm shooting a little badger, whatever the fuck it is, you know? And it turns into a goddamn bear. It's because my dude was tripping balls, because we're just, there's, like, so much of that shit just in the air, you know? What's funny is, ooh. Okay, there's no robots over there, we're good. I didn't play much too. Like I, I had them on the, the 360 back in the day and uh, I remember enjoying it, but it was just really weird. It was, I guess I was probably in a different mindset of like what I was looking for in a game. I remember playing the fuck out of the multiplayer, that was fun. It was definitely weird though at the time. Having like a weird like open world like shooter, you know? Probably because I, I don't think there's many of those at a time. So I, I played it and I was like, remember, <laughs> I'd be running around doing missions and shit and like using RPG and suddenly I'm like, oh no, and then just, just suddenly I'm burning down like half the map because of fucking wildfire catches from like the RPG and shit. The fucking animations for like healing your character in Far Cry 2 were fucking brutal as well. You'd get shot and like you'd try and stop and band yourself and you'd, like, you'd push your fucking finger into your arm and push the bullet out the other side. It's like, oh god. Or get tweezers and like pull it out and shit. Ah, uh, that was... Mm. Did I play New Dawn? New Dawn was like a DLC for 5, wasn't it? No, I didn't. When is Stalker 2 release? Uh, September, I'm thinking. I'm not 100%. Someone in chat and Twitch chat can tell you. If someone chimes in, I can relay it to the YouTube chat. But, uh, yeah, August 30th is six days away from Stalker. So I'm assuming Stalker is a September release. September 5th, someone's saying. New Dawn's a whole game that's unknown? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it takes place in the Far Cry 5 map, like... After, like, the nuclear apocalypse or whatever, and it's like the cult is, like, taken over, and they're, like, the only people left, if I recall. So it's a spin-off, but it's basically a DLC, because it's taking place on the same map and shit, you know? I'm surprised I remember that about that game. But I remember, I guess, looking it up when it came out and seeing if I was interested, and I wasn't. But yeah, it's this whole game on its own, just like Blood Dragon is. But 
it's essentially a DLC for five, though. Because unlike Blood Dragon that comes out with a bunch of new shit and just a fever dream, uh, New Dawn uses the same map as five, if I recall. Blood Dragon was a fucking fever dream, though. I don't remember how I played that. Maybe I got it for free, or... I don't remember. That might have been, like, having an Ubisoft subscription. I remember streaming that, though. That was, Sorry, uh... That was certainly a game. And August 30th, that's so fucking annoying, dude. Ah, there you are. Sorry for the imp. Huh. But listen, let me buy you. Great. Oh boy. Okay. Huh. Salomati. I was all maybe it was, but sometimes the elder boy, I am. Al, he was not us. Well, he it looked and because I'll let that one, but don't if, but that I hope at least the Salamat. Now, you remember to keep a low profile. We're just a pair of friendly traders looking for potential business. Look out, here comes trouble. Ms. Mayfield, my name is Layla. I made an appointment to speak with you. Please, Joanna is just fine, dear. And while all this cloak and dagger hubbub is flattering, why don't we cut to the chase, Paladin Romani? Well, that was short-lived. Okay, Joanna, it appears I underestimated you. And looky there, you've got one of these famous vault dwellers in tow. Oh, and I, I'd appreciate it. Okay, pal. we, right now, being up. Slow down, we are just, and Honeyed work. Better to just air. This guy looks like. Thank you. Ring. Harper's Fair. Oh. That was exact. Does that sound? Oh. Now time. So fine. By all means. God, Harper's Fair is so fucking far. Did Outcast have a good release? Outcast. Outcast is like in twenty fucking. Dude, 2002 or some shit, dude? What are you... 2003? I think that was 2002, because I'm pretty sure that was before... Mm, yeah, no, it was like 2001, actually. Those Mothman cultists... Because Galaxies creeps. came out, like, I think I'm just before... I'm getting sick uh, Academy? I know they're easy to grow, but... You mean Jedi Survivor? Jedi Survivor was like... I don't remember when it was last year. So far, fuck off. I mean, I cast a new beginning. I'll cast a new beginning. I have no the fuck idea that is. That I don't know if I've even heard of that. Oh, uh, pff, I feel like I saw a smidge of somebody playing this. I don't think so. I don't, this thing, game didn't even make a splash on fucking Twitch, because I didn't see anybody streaming except, like, one dude, and it was, like, a sliver of a time. Probably, and it may have been sponsored, I don't know. It's got very positive reviews, 358. But, uh, yeah, I didn't play it. 60 bucks, though? Oof. It's kind of crazy. I mean, it doesn't have that many reviews, obviously, but very positive, like, still out of 350? Like, that's... Hmm. Let's see, top review, 42 hours played, 62 hours played, down, it doesn't, those are likes. Don't like it, 7.3, don't like it, 6.2, likes it, 79, or 79.7, .7. likes it, 25, likes it, 34, likes it, 16, likes it, 11, doesn't like it, 7, likes it, 13, likes it, 37. Yeah, that's, I mean, I guess it had a good release, but it didn't have, it didn't have any fanfare at all. I remember seeing, I think, that game being... I saw a trailer for it, like, before it came out. I was like, huh. 
That's a game. Anna. I like how, when I hear, when I hear Outcast, I think Star Wars Jedi Outcast. I'm like, Outcast, what? Yeah, uh, I don't know. It, I don't think I saw anybody stream it. I, mean, I vaguely recall somebody, and like I stopped in for like a smidge, and uh, I just didn't. I tuned out probably because I was flipping through channels, you know. Could be hidden gem, yeah, could be. Could be. I don't know. I I would look up reviews if I were you, if you're interested in that game. Because right now it's it's only been like not even a full month since release and it's still at a full, you know, sixty dollar title, you know? So even the reviews are very positive, uh, on the Steam rating, I would still look up some video or like some kind of reviews, you know, and educate yourself on that, because I don't know if sixty bucks is worth a lot of games these days, you know? Saw Danton's game playing the demo. I don't know. Maybe that was it. I don't know. I swear I saw somebody try it. I don't know if it was the demo or the uh, full release, and there was an ad. I don't know. I'll go chilling down there. Yeah, there's definitely going to be some good reviews of it somewhere, either a like, written form or in like YouTube essay or whatever shit. Like, there's definitely somebody who's going to have some out there for you. Like, who knows? It could be a good game. Uh, I feel like March 15th is what Steam said. I think it was what came out, right? I don't have the page up anymore. I feel like that's what the release said on Steam, though. Actually, do I have it on Steam? Do I have the Steam open? I don't have it on Steam. I guess I did. I guess I just searched it on the other monitor. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but I feel like that was at a time where there may have still been a lot of like Hell Divers to hype. So it, maybe it fell by the wayside. That and there, there was some other shit probably people were playing. It was like Final Fantasy as well, probably around that time, and some other shit. I don't know. Dragon's Dogma 2 probably around then. Yeah, I feel like that game potentially got buried by other releases around that time. By the way, I still haven't been approved or declined for my fucking key, the fucking request for fucking Dragon's Dogma 2. <laughs> Whoever's running that shit just completely dropped the ball on that one. It's not like the game didn't get plenty of views, I'm sure, on YouTube and Twitch, but like... Like, I always get, like, fucking keys off of, uh that website that I applied on and it's just like it's just sitting there just unanswered it's like I don't know yeah I don't think we're playing that game <laughs> I got a feeling chat I don't think it's happening Getting so sick and tired of those thorn bushes.
Fuck, man, how am I gonna get my Star Wars fixed for the next fucking five months? Ah, oh, that's annoying. Dragon's Dogma only scores mid-tier reviews because people don't know the first game. No, I think actual reviewers uh, love the shit out of the game. People who actually played it love the shit out of it, regardless of the first one. I, if you're talking about the Steam scores, the Steam score is shit because of uh, the performance was crappy when it came out, and they didn't have an option to... There was straight up no option to delete your character, and I don't know if that's actually in yet. Like deleting your character and starting a new one is just straight up an option they didn't launch with. I don't know if it's actually in yet, but that wasn't there. On top of that, microtransactions were kind of jammed into a single player game, which, uh, not good. Not good. So, uh, even if the microtransactions aren't, like, really bad in what they have, the game became, like, a big focus of the whole, like, hey, let's hate on microtransactions because microtransactions do suck if they're not, you know, cosmetics, like Path of Exile and shit, you know? Um, so, the game got a lot of... Oh, Jesus fucking... Jesus fucking Christ! The game got a lot of negative reviews because of that. Rightfully so, in my opinion. Because uh, launching with performance issues for a big title like that in this day is not acceptable. Um, Demonetization is like, eh, well, I don't, I don't think it's cool, but I'm also not going to like lose my shit over that. Uh, and like the not being able to just straight up delete your save and like you having to go through a bunch of steps to start a new character is fucking stupid. That should be built into the game. Like, I get it. You don't want people saves coming, and you don't want people to have multiple character, slates, multiple character slots. I get it, you know? That's fine. But the fact they launched without an option to actually just start over... ...is moronic. Like, bro, this is fucking 2024, dog. It's current year, okay? <laughs> How is that not something they launched with? The FPS all over place in this game? What? In, uh, Fallout? No, dude. I got 100 FPS right now. 86? 89? Like, it, it never drops below 60. It's definitely- this game is definitely not optimized by any stretch, keep in mind. This- this game is cobbled together with duct tape and, uh, wishes, you know? Oh, big frame drop right there for a second and just fucking hard freeze. But, I mean, this game runs pretty good for the most part. But if you're talking about Dragon's Dogma, a game that launches at $70 price tag this year with shit like fucking DLSR and FSR and fucking... or DLSR and FSR, like that shit should fucking run great and it doesn't. Find it difficult on the console? Ah, yeah, yeah. The question is, are you on a uh, switch over PC? Yeah, the problem is, if you're gonna do that, you should make the switch before you put a lot of time in, because there's no cross play, cross save yet, sadly. Because the game, I think, exists on PlayStation. It stops like Bethesda from really like doing that kind of shit, because Sony blocks a lot of like cross progression shit, um, which is a bummer. So I was gonna say like, don't do too much progress. But yeah, I play on PC obviously, so I don't know how the console performance is. Uh, I heard it got better, but you have to like get like the next gen update, whatever the fuck it is. And you, I don't know. Like, are you playing on Series X, Series S? You playing on PS4, PS5? Because I've heard the performance is pretty solid uh, on the newer consoles after that update. Series X, okay, interesting. That's that's the best Xbox, and it's still not that great, huh? Bummer. Yeah, we're PC here, obviously, so. I don't have a whole lot of issues with it, but it does occasionally have issues here, so I could see it dip in some more on console for sure. I 
I think it's when the server has more players and events. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that could be it, for sure. It's a bummer y'all got that, though. I feel like you should at least have the 60 FPS up that came a while back, right? I feel like that was a thing I heard about. I don't really keep up on console news, you know? Okay, PC Gamer, you fucking clickbaity son of a bitch. So they put out an article saying uh, the TV show is coming out a day early as a thank you to fans, and it says, a second season seems guaranteed. What is this? What is this? Where is this second season talking about? Where, where, where are you getting this from, PC Gamer, huh? <sighs> I can't easily skim it. Let's see. Control F second. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Scroll up. Uh -huh, okay. Also, it doesn't really matter in the short term because Variety reports a second season for the show has already had a $25 million of tax credits greenlit by the state of California, suggesting the show will relocate shooting for this hypothetical but surely inevitable second season. Huh. Interesting. So, <laughs> the studio hasn't confirmed it, but they found out a second season is popping up because of a $25 million tax credits from the state of California. Huh. Interesting. I mean, listen, you know, I haven't even seen the first season yet. Uh, I'm down for more. I don't care how good or bad it is. I'm probably still going to love it because it's Fallout and it's canon, you know? So... I mean, listen, they have to fuck up pretty bad to fumble from what I've seen. Because I watched the teaser and then I watched the trailer. And both of those look fucking phenomenal. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know. Sounds like they're guessing. Uh, I mean, that's the thing. It's kind of weird for uh, the state to greenlight a tax credit on something that hasn't been filmed here because it sounds like they're moving production to California which means it wasn't here already so why would they give them a tax credit for the first season if it wasn't filmed here you know like so yeah I, I, I definitely think that's a thing I'm hopeful for a follow over the Halo TV series I don't, don't even get me started on the Halo TV series I don't know what the fuck they were doing man I haven't watched much of it but I've seen like people talking about how apparently Chief like is banging somebody in the fucking show or whatever is having sex. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Like, they already made an abomination of the show by having him take off his helmet straight away in the first fucking episode, which is just fucking ludicrous. Um, at least they had a good actor under the helmet, because I've seen... I can't remember the actor's name, um, but he's a good actor I've seen in a bunch of shit, right? So he's got, he's got the acting chops. Okay, fine. Whatever. You know? But their story is so whack and, like, out there. Like, I get not wanting to do a whole, like, let's just regurgitate what's been told in the games and the books. Because there are Halo books, by the way. But it's mostly just telling stuff in between the games. Um, I get not wanting to regurgitate stuff from the games. And you wanted to make the IP accessible to everybody. But I was I didn't even finish the first season, I'm pretty fucking sure. I think I made it, like, most of the way through. Maybe halfway, three quarters. And I just, I bounced. And, uh, I heard it may have actually gotten okay in the second season. I don't know, man. I just, I, they, I don't know. Because the thing is, I fucking, I can't say I grew up playing Halo because I grew up playing fucking original fucking NES and fucking N64 stuff. Speaking of, someone remind me to double back to N64, please. As soon as I'm done with this, this topic, someone remind me to double back to N64. Um... But, like, I got a fucking Xbox, uh, original Xbox, fucking, when that shit launched that Christmas, you know? Like, I got a, a fucking, parents got me, or this is probably dad, who got me a bundle that had fucking NFL Fever, which was the shit. Um, it had a fucking, uh, Amped Freestyle Snowboarding, which was a fucking great snowboarding game, and Halo Combat Evolved. 
And I remember fucking when we were unboxing them all, uh, cause it was like a joint gift for myself and my brother as well. Um, we were looking at it and he was looking at the games and I look, held up the Halo cover. I was like, dude, look at this thing. It looks like a fucking robot soldier. This thing's gonna be sick. And he's like, Ugh. I remember him giving me this weird look. And I'm like, Psh, fuck you, this thing's gonna be great. And I played it and it was amazing, dude. So good. Split screen, I mean, you know, gaming with him was, you know, he was an asshole, but like, you know, he's my brother, right? So, like, playing co op with him on the fucking tiny ass tube TV back in the day, oh, that shit was fucking great, dude. So, like, and I didn't play two fucking, uh, when did we play two? I think it was, we, I went, uh, like, right after two came out, um, I think, uh, what we had, his mom just happened to be, like, a couple days after it came out, his mom was, like, out of town. Um, so we had her pick up, he picked up, like, a, or he had her pick up, like, a collector's edition steel box for him, and I got a regular edition. And then I paid him back, you know? And then, uh, went over to his place, and fucking, we just jammed that out in a single session, and it was fucking amazing. And then it's like, you fucking get back on the cruiser, and you fucking show up back over Earth, and he's like, Master Chief, what the fuck are you doing on that Covenant cruise ship? And he's like, sir, I'm here to finish the fight. And then the credits roll, and we fucking started bawling our eyes out because we were pissed because that wasn't the fucking end of the game. It's like, bro, how are you gonna fucking end on that stupid fucking cliffhanger? And that's a whole different fucking rant about Bungie fucking destroying Halo 2 with that shit. But anyways, we hopped on the online and fucking played the shit out of fucking Xbox Live on Halo 2. And that shit was the amazing. Just so much fucking fun. Because he actually had good internet. So, that sleepover was the fucking shit. And then Halo 3, I was working at a fucking... My, my fucking job at a grocery store and my fucking buddy was again out of town because we had no actual game shops in my fucking tall, small ass town and uh, he came back with the fucking collection edition steel book for Halo 3 and fucking went over and played that shit at his place and I was like bruh ha campaign for Halo 3 was so fucking good dude and then 4 was a travesty I, I, it took years for me to finish it like YouTube uh, like there's like a sm I think the video still exists on my YouTube uh, like Mike and I did like a co-op playthrough of that I think we only recorded like five parts and like neither of us were feeling it at all that and like YouTube was like blocking YouTube was real weird back then and like fucking what 20s whatever the teens so it like was claiming his like YouTube ad revenue shit and it was blocking so shit so we just stopped the run it wasn't compelling either enough for either of us to finish it we went back and finished like three or four years plus later uh, and it was it was a game. It was not the the bungee magic, you know. And I uh, never played five, and I played infinite on stream. That was, it was something. It was okay, but man, how are you gonna start a fucking Halo TV show and fuck it up that badly? <sighs> Second season still had some issues, but significantly better than season one. Is it worth watching and catching up to wherever the fuck I was in Halo? to get to season two because man I don't know if I want to do that I really don't know if I want to do that probably because they think it'll increase the tourism I don't know about that it's tax credits I mean it's just gonna be all in the film in a fucking Hollywood lot you know like most of that shit is <sighs> Ugh. No, man, fuck the Halo TV show. It's bullshit, dude. Like, if it's actually, if people say it's actually good, maybe I'll get around to faking, like, finishing up the first season and trying second season. But, man, it was just so weird. And I've heard some weird shit about season two. As soon as Super 3 took over Halo, they really took a shit on itself. Yeah, the problem is Bungie hasn't really done much better. Like, they came out with some interesting stuff for Destiny, and that was cool. And then they fucking, it was released in, like, a kind of mess state, but they fucking brought it back it was amazing after taking king and then they kept this momentum going on and then they fucking put out destiny 2 and they wiped us and fucking delayed the pc edition and the game launched in a crappy state but then it started getting good and then it's then fucking they got let go from activision they were free and it turns out activision was the one holding them up because they didn't have all the extra support studios and so the game went to shit and they've now just bungee itself has all kinds of weird fucking decisions going on and it's just Real bummer, man, because fucking Halo was the shit, dude. I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure if you really need a f uh, season one to enjoy season two. You think so? Hmm. Halo, you gotta turn off your brain. That's a problem. I don't know if I can turn off my brain for Halo. 
Just like I'm not gonna be able to turn off my brain for Fallout. Like, I'm gonna stop and fucking, like, rewind shit and be like, oh shit, look at the details, you know? Like, I'm gonna try not to do that, but I'm probably gonna end up doing that, you know? Which is why I'm happy it's fucking coming out on the day off, so I can actually watch that shit. I believe Bungie execs are gonna exit after marathon drops. Yeah, I saw an article about that recently about some theories are uh, about like how, because I think Sony is hasn't like fully bought them out yet, but they own like a. There's some weird fucking thing going on where like the buyout hasn't like fully taken place yet, but or is it's like it maybe it is happening, but a lot of the execs can't get their full like payout of the shares or whatever until they stay. For a certain amount of years or whatever or like maybe marathon has to ship and so at that point then they're all gonna bail i don't know i don't know what's going on which is a real bummer because while i don't have any like fucks to give about the marathon ip i didn't play that back in the day uh i do like as much as i shit on destiny for so many uh, fucking reasons i still enjoy their the gameplay they create they have like they they have the best gameplay hands down in uh fps gaming like Halo and all the subsequent works, like Bungie does shooting right. They have the magic down. And you know, it's funny, that's why fi uh, Fallout 4 feels decent enough on a shooter now, because they got one of the guys from fucking Bungie to work on Fallout 4. Just, just side note, anyways. Them making a fucking sci-fi extraction shooter could be fucking sick. For those who don't know, the extraction shooter genre is basically Escape from Tarkov, right? That's what Marathon's kind of supposed to be. We don't really know much about it. Look at fucking Paladin Armani. She's just like, what the fuck is this guy doing? I'm talking to chat. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's just, I, I don't want them to fucking, like, I hate on Bungie for them, like, disrespecting my time and my money so much over the years. But I still want them to succeed because they had, they, I know they had a talent, you know, and they can make good stuff, you know? So it's like... I don't want Marathon to be bad, but I don't have high hopes of that game after this, whatever's going on with that studio, you know? Real bummer. Initiate. Glad you made it here safely. That Ares character is further ahead. I should mention, every instinct I have is telling me not to trust him. It seems we don't have much choice with it. Oh, I'm listening to this. Skip. Ooh. Guns are the ready. Shot went to the wall. She's fine. Spotted some feral ghouls earlier. Yes, Pop, just a little bit. Well, hello there. The spot we're looking for is further in the facility. There's a trick to getting in. Give me one shake of a lamb squatch's tail to get it open. <laughs> Let's see, 30 days past September, carry the two. <sighs> is this for real? If the Halo show had been ran by the Ford Unto Dawn showrunner, it would have been good. I know, right? Yes. Ford Unto Dawn was amazing. I don't understand how they fucked that up. Think we aren't so like, live action Halo has been good. Was Forward Unto Dawn a show or was it a movie? I don't remember. But Forward Unto Dawn, isn't that the show about like the ODST recruits, right? Pretty sure it is. Like they're in like a forest and then fucking the Covenant attack and shit. And then they end up getting saved by Chief and shit. I'm pretty sure. Like Forward Unto Dawn was a fucking amazing. I don't understand how you make good live action Halo and then you get Halo TV show. Like, miniseries? Okay, whatever, you know? I don't I don't remember what it, it's been a long time since I watched it, but like Forward Unto Dawn was really good. How do you fuck that up? Like, good Halo live action has been done and clearly can be done. And the worst part is like, I actually really like the dude who plays Chief because I've seen him in a bunch of shit and I know he's good, but he just, he's just getting fucked by whoever's fucking running the Halo show, man. And it's like, it's a real bummer, you know? I think this is the area that has the sheep squatch. Okay, we gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. We might lose our character in here. <laughs> I got knocked down here last time, but I think that was like the, I think that was the cannonball character. I mean, he got, 
obviously revived because I had the armor pieces, but okay. The camps I think past this door here. I could I'll be wrong. I think one of these cave systems has the sheep squatch in it. The imposter sheep squatch, obviously. And which is the assaultron? Which is the assaultrons oh, that haven't been nerfed because it's not labeled regular assaultron, it's labeled sh imposter sheep squatch. You're so the like this the beam probably. is still a fucking death beam. We might be getting fucked here. We'll see. Can I head into the front. Hello. You gotta go through the fucking things, don't we? We gotta go through the fucking side areas. Yep. Just like yeah. Okay. We gotta wait for him to do his dialogue. Let's chat. Yeah, I got knocked down last time, but we managed to pull it off. I think I pulled up the mini nuke at that point. I don't know. I mean, we we have a stealth character, so we might be okay. We'll probably be okay, realistically. the The stealth suit's pretty fucking snazzy. Welcome to. I'll make sure to stim the fuck out of it though, just in case. The, here's the quick version, but. Yep. Oh, if you to fill. There were some mention to me. Mm hmm. Oops, sorry. Sounds like a very contrived He's fine. way of getting us killed. Stay sharp, initiate. Okay, let's see. Um, let's be on the stim tab. Let's see. What do we want? Uh, damage, damage resist fifteen. What most damage resist? So was it med X? I think twenty five. Okay, damage twenty five resist. Oh, okay. You having uh, you having a hard time there? Good. She's good. I think we use psych just regular psycho because we want twenty five percent resist. I don't think. Do we have anything else that resists? Uh, adds damage resist on? I don't think anything else stacks up with that. Yeah. I think that's it. Sadly, oh, we have level. Um, get expert rifleman out, expert commando. Let's upgrade that bitch. Pablo Schreiber is a damn good actor. Not gonna win any Oscars, but damn good nonetheless. Is that the dude who plays Chief? I don't remember his name. I, I remember seeing him, I think, in The Wire. Yeah, he, or maybe it's a Brandos. I don't remember which. But yeah, he's really good. I've seen him in a bunch of other shit as well over the years. Which is like, when I found out that he was playing Chief, I was like, huh. I mean, he's good, obviously. Um, but it's just like, Chief shouldn't really be in a speaking role, you know? I realize they may have ripped off his helmet finally in like Halo, what, 4 or 5 or whatever, you know? And have him talk a lot more, but it's like, he's the strong, silent type, you know? Somewhere. He lets Cortana do most of the Open talking. Sesame when Chief talks, eh? it's like, oh shit, Chief actually said something. Oh my god. Oh fuck, I gotta run the code now. We gotta learn this shit. That phrase into a series of numbers. Okay. Hint, Open Sesame. Uh, O-P-E-N... The what? Uh, 12... 11 22 13 12 11 22 13 12 11 22 13 12 11 22 13 Oh good beautiful he says look at those numbers right okay Then sesame s starts with s or 822 8 That should be the second one we don't need to look the entire thing 822 8 boom Seed. It should it should be eight twenty two twenty two twenty three eight twenty two twenty two twenty three easy enough. Well done, initiate. That was some impressive detective work. That's the uh, the key the briefcase they use for the uh, nuclear winner. This. BR Aha, mode. my hunch was right. Because uh, one thing that was dope about the nuclear winter BR herbicide. is you could find uh, well the like briefcase what you used to launch it right but you could find key cards. Okay, Romani, you here, need to shut so the fuck up. I'm trying to talk to Chad. Okay, I'm gonna walk over here. Waterline? You can be quiet. Uh -huh. the buys out there, hey, Union Jack, appreciate the 42 months, dude. 
Agree. They must have known I mean, this I enjoy happen. the show and all, but seeing Chief walking around Helmet off and chatting it up is well weird. On that. It really is. Initiate. It's so Let's fucking out of character. Where we can access oh my god, Armani, shut up. This is what we need to shut do up. Okay. She's done. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> She's running backwards. One game needs to do that where, like, if a character, like, runs backward long enough, either AI or players. If you do that long enough, you have a chance of tripping. Even if there's nothing on the ground, just tripping and falling. Am I, am I wrong, chat? I feel like that should be a thing. Like, if you're ever back, you know, like backpedaling, you should fall over occasionally. Maybe not often, but like, maybe every time, like every like two feet, you, you like walk backwards, you have like a 5% chance to tip over. Maybe even 1%, you know? It'd be kind of funny. Tripping on your own feet? Yeah. Have you tried walking backwards, chat, with like a gun out or anything like that? It might happen. You know, is it doing it at any decent kind of speed? It happens. What was I saying? Anyways, the nuclear winter BR mode was fucking fun, man. And uh, that briefcase that was on the ground a second there, um, that shit uh, was, you had to find the actual briefcase. There might have been like maybe two or three in a match. Usually, I think there'd only be one. But uh, when you'd be looting containers, you could occasionally get lucky and find like a key card, right? And so you would try and uh, go this way. Am I, am I supposed to shoot my way through? I don't remember. I'm not shooting it through way through yet. I guess we have to go through back there and I missed it. Um, once you gathered four cards, if you had that briefcase, you could actually like drop a nuke uh, in the match. And it was just like, it obviously it, the radius wasn't nearly as big as the actual ones you see on the actual like map, you know, out here. I guess you can't see any right now, but it was still like, you know, in a BR, it's like, oh, hey, you save that until you know where a bunch of a whole team is, you know, or teams are going at it, then you just fucking drop it on them. It's like, oof. It was fun, man. It was real fun. I don't think we have a nuke, because I, I only have, like, one match saved as, like, a, a highlight on Twitch. Um, Sadly, I don't think we have a nuke launch in it. It's a solid match, though, but, yeah, I don't know. The BR mode was so much fun. It's a real bummer they took it out. Oh yeah, uh, no one reminded me to double back to the N64 stuff earlier, by the way. Uh, would y'all want to watch a fucking N64 fucking, like, Ocarina of Time run and shit? Cause I, I haven't played that in fucking eons, man. And, uh, I saw someone streaming that the other day, and they were doing, like, a PC version, so it's, like, smooth 60 FPS, and I was like, oh, man. That could kind of be fun, you know? I don't know, though. Here we go. This looks like it connects to the okay, main this water Okay, this isn't line. the park. This is just Let's a bunch of ghouls. Where's the Assault Tron part? Is it late in this cave, or is it somewhere else? I don't remember. Do your thing. I should be able to... Expect yeah, 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 yeah. Turn on. Okay. I'll watch your back. Let's Go. Let's take a look here. Okay. Yeah, it was really the weird seeing started uh, dispersing into the water systems. Ocarina of Time at, like, 60 Protected FPS, like, smooth. Substance. Like 1080p. Care for it to get noisy in here. It was honestly a little Shit, unnerving, but it, it made me want to play Victorium. it again. Oh, legendary, huh? Excuse me. Excuse me. I need more time. Keep it up. Uh oh, we're out of AP. Uh oh. That's actually hurt too. I've gotten through to about half the facility. Can't stop now. I'll need to reach the drainage system if we're going to affect the vines. <laughs> Excuse me, hang on, we're loading. Locking the last gate valve now. Give him hell, initiate. Done. The chemical is pumping throughout the entire water system now. Oh, fuck. Over encumbered because of the fucking power armor. Chemicals. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I can't use legendaries in this character anyway, so like, what do I need the caps? I don't really need the caps. Those vines should be weak enough to break through now. I 
Uh, wouldn't drink the water if I were you, though. What, you mean I shouldn't eat, drink fucking toxic laced fucking water that's meant as a herbicide? Crazy. Thanks, Powder Money. Your insights are invaluable. Oh boy. Why do you have to get like heavy fucking ones, huh? A launcher's pretty heavy, right? Pounds. Bye bye. Hook's not heavy. Moon gun is 16 pounds. The armor's 14. Let's dip the armor. Hey, look at that runner. Well, the armor probably goes for a better value. And the harpoon gun, because that's only 15. I bet you the two star power armor is 20 scrip. We done? Or the strangler vines. Locking the pump room. Go here. Maybe this is the sheep squatch. I don't remember where the sheep squatch is. It's one of the fucking weird quest lines. Maybe it's later in the uh, this quest line, or maybe oh, this is the room I think. Oh, this is looking familiar. Ooh, mm, maybe. I, I don't know. It's been a minute. Oh, there it is. Oh God. Okay. Uh, what did I say? Psycho. It's said psycho, right? That's what we want. Cool food and drink. Let's see. Do we have any food that gives me more fucking defenses? I don't think there anything is. AP. Oh, slice of cake's good. That's good. T as well. Yeah. Okay. Get buffed out all that shit. T doesn't last very long, so we'll pop those when we get closer into the room. You know, what? we're actually probably about to do it right now. Let's just fucking walk to the door real quick here. Cake, tea, over, psycho, bust out the plasma nades, a hey, little shit. Does it not show up until I open the shit? It might not. To open shit first. How long does Psycho last? Two minutes still, okay. Fuck. Hostile robotic mm -hmm. entity? That's troubling. Be on the lookout. It's overdrive as well. Come on. There it is. <gasps> I'm out of AP. Romani, I need you to take aggro, please. Is it invisible? There it is. I think we got it. Oh, we got it. That was an Assaultron dressed up as a... But Shizzle, that was an easy fight. It didn't even attack you. You're right. If it had, I would be dead instantaneously. Let's get back to that This thing, at least the last I was aware, well, like a month or two ago, and I don't see, I haven't seen it in the patch notes since then. This thing got nerfed like four or five months ago, or they say, I should say, Assaultrons got fixed four or five months ago. But you know, so this thing doesn't say Assaultron. It says Seep Squatch and Posturling as a name. But if you look at it, it's just a fucking, uh, fucking assaultron with a fucking costume. Uh, yeah, it uh, it'll one shot me pretty much with the tie beam. So, and I've had it happen. So we got real lucky. And that's honestly, that. the stealth suit is pretty much doing all of it. Ares. The work, I'm pretty fucking sure. Anything to do with all this. The stealth suit is like, just fully carrying this run right now. Which is good, because I don't have any safety nets. I have no life-saving pieces. I can't get any of that shit, so... 
working out for now. Oh, hello, I hear my licks. Definitely gone through a lot of ammo in this place, but that's fine. I do wonder if I had actually spawned a decent amount in the other room, but I didn't grab it. Back this way? Don't remember. No, this is the tunnel. Okay, so this is, ooh, this is way the wrong way. Okay, uh, where were we? Oh, hey, what a big ammo? He doesn't. Um, yeah, the room where uh, they kept coming out of the floorboards. I need to go back there. This way? It's this way. This is the room. And for... This room? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah, okay, let's see. Y'all got ammo for me, hopefully. No, I guess I looted it all. Fuck, I guess we're just getting low on ammo. Alright. I usually keep above, like, 700-ish, just from, like, naturally looting them from the, uh... Whatchamacallit? Uh, contextual ammo drops, but I guess we're... Not... Getting as well. Whatever. Alright, do it. Your boss looks like she's... Whoa! Personal space, Romani, what the fuck? Okay, just give me a second. Yeesh. Nearly there now. We're good. Agree. Oh, oh. right. Let's see. Here. She's fine. Login credentials, check. In terms of employment, yeah, yeah. Benefits enrollments expired, sure, sure. And done. Trust me now. I'll even lead the way, so if you change your mind, it'll be easier to shoot me in the back. Thank you for opening the door. But Listen, he offered. Find anything linking you to this, you're still going to have to. I mean, it was the door. front, but you know. Those eh, questionable things I already have to answer for. Single random doggo there. Seems like you've been excellent. Let me take a look at what you found. I just need a minute to review it all. As you walk away, even though he's over here to yell at it because of the human trafficking and experiments. Pull out your decoder rings, kids. It's detective time. I really hate this guy. He's See, fucking annoying. That's concerning. Wait a minute. You don't say. This name. I know this name. I think I've seen enough. Initiate, we should discuss our findings. Well, I... I'd like to... Yes. They were bunt... Indeed. That was my take as well, based on Cassie. The total number... Right. That's right. Not only was it likely, I think that. No, that Dr. Black. I had. Listen, I don't care about the actual answers, right? It doesn't Black matter. I'm just spamming my way through this. I'm glad I. I do believe. I know you do. I'm. A, but even still. Yeah, Blackburn was the dude at the start of the quest line where he's like, Hey, you should work together with me so I can give me supplies so we can help each other out and learn stuff. And fair to you. They turn them down because they don't want to give supplies to anybody. My best friendship started with misplaced suspicion of mass kidnapping. I will take your word for it. Is this really the way out? Why is it pointing this way? Very weird, but you know, uh, I'm just gonna follow the thing.
That's not the way. Oh, uh, this, this is full on the wrong way. Okay, well, you know, these things happen. Just a little bit of backtracking, no big deal. Come on. Way's out. Guess this way? This is the way, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, all right, we're good. Listen, chat, I'm, I'm gonna say it again, uh, just in case. There might not be a Friday stream. Probably there will be a Friday stream. I'll probably be doing some more permadeath or maybe I'll uh, I don't know depends uh, It's either gonna be permadeath or I'll pro unless something new comes out again always Always a slammer if something new comes out plans can change but tentative plans for the next stream because obviously Wednesday Thursday is my days off, right? Um, I'm either gonna be doing some more of this or we'll hit up Fallout 3 and we'll go through the DLCs We'll finish up Fallout 3 story and then finally hit the DLCs because I know I've never done point lookout or the pit um, and then I'm unsure about Broken Steel Because that's another like Brotherhood of Steel like themed one. So maybe I did that. I know I've done uh, Operation Anchorage and Mothership Zeta, but I don't remember those well So maybe I'll run those anyways. I don't know. We might be getting back to Fallout 3 in a little bit. We'll see That's the tentative plan obviously that said Friday stream might not happen. I might Listen, depends on how the Fallout show is, you know, I'm gonna watch it on Thursday, right? I don't- it might be one of those things I might have to rewatch it again on Friday. I don't know. Listen, man. A whole new canon show about Fallout? I might have to stop and, like, look at all the things, right? Who knows? Realistically, I probably won't. It's probably not gonna get in the way of the stream. But if I'm not around, that's probably what I'm doing. Or I had a heart attack, one of the two. How's that squad games the stars mod? Eh, it was okay. It runs a little jank. That's squad and modded stuff for you. It was cool, but eh, eh. I didn't play that long. I only did like four hours that day, I think. I have a Star Wars itch that needs to get scratched. That's the problem. And apparently, uh, Outlaws, uh, the le the release date has been leaked via the Japan YouTube, uh, or the the trailers. For Ubisoft Japan, whatever, it has like the date in it, and it's August 30th, which is fucking insanely far away for me. So, uh, that's a pretty big fucking letdown. I was hoping that would launch like in J June, maybe July, early July, but now it's like basically September at this point. So, that's pretty shit. Yeah, another letdown. But I don't know why I expect anything else, you know? That's life. Everything's a letdown. But, uh, you know, whatever. Can I get up this ridge? I don't know if there's a way up this ridge here. Fuck it, we'll find out. But yeah, that trailer drops in a couple hours, so I'll watch that at the stream end. But, uh,. Yeah, finding out the release date early, like, it's possible there's an error, because the, the video's been privated already, right? Because clearly someone figured it out, because someone, like, tweeted about it and shit, but, uh, and translated it and whatever, but... I highly doubt it's an error. Which is a bummer. I don't know. I don't have anything to look forward to for this year, man. Outside of, like, TV shows. No, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of good TV shows coming this summer. Like, we got, what's it, House of the Dragon Season 2. That's going to be sick. Uh, hopefully, I don't think they actually have announced it yet, but hopefully we'll have the final se season of Stranger Things. We'll have fucking uh, Next Umbrella Academy, I think, as well, sometime soonish. I'm not sure we actually have a date for that yet. Uh, fucking Acolyte, uh, start of June. Um, those are four bangers right there, probably. Something else as well, I can't remember. We got a lot of shows to look forward to, but video games, uh, <laughs> slim pickings right now. I 
A little nervous that they embargo reviews the new series until release. That's usually a bad sign. What do you mean? The Star Wars series or you mean Fallout? I'm assuming you mean you said new series, so I'm assuming you mean like a new Star Wars series. Acolyte? I mean, Acolyte, they're, they're pro people probably haven't watched it yet, man. It's still two months out, a little under. Because I think uh, I looked it up earlier. It's like June 4th or some shit, right? Or Acolyte, yeah, release date. June 4th. I, I don't think they've really shown it to anybody yet. All out? Oh. Uh, no. I mean. No, there was some going like previews. I swear I saw an article or tweet about it that, that they were talking about it already being like well received already. Uh, Fallout show reviews. I don't think so. Yeah, no. Forbes, Forbes article. Uh, the first Amazon Prime Fallout show previews are glowing. What are you talking about? They just probably embargoed people so they can't tell the entire thing if people have articles about previews they saw uh then yeah i don't i mean they're just probably embargoing so people don't spoil it that's it i don't know man i i wouldn't worry about that i mean don't expect it to be like an earth shattering show but it'll probably be pretty fucking good the trailer and the teaser look pretty goddamn good man and we were talking about it earlier They've already, it sounds like they've already greenlit a second season. They haven't like officially announced it, but apparently uh, there's like a $25 million tax credit given by California for the second season. Because apparently the first season wasn't filmed in the state. So it's like, why would they give them a fat tax credit for filming if they haven't already like started figuring out if they're going to do a second season, you know? I don't know about that one. I feel like for a video game, when there's actual purchases online, uh, it makes sense to, uh, you know, not hold the embargo until like, until like the day of release. But for the show, it's like, nah, spoilers, man. It's a TV show, you know, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's a bad sign. I really don't. But hey, we'll find out tomorrow or I guess in a couple days. No, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow evening. Well, I'm not gonna watch. I'm gonna probably watch it tomorrow evening when it comes out. That's pretty late, but still, technically, you could find out tomorrow. Oh boy, so much fucking walking today, dude. I'll wait for some real views or in for some viewers I trust. Uh, I never give any series a benefit of the doubt anymore. Welcome to Fort App. Do you not enjoy the IP? Do you not enjoy Fallout? Why don't you just watch it anyways? Unless it's like one of those like, oh, I have to subscribe to Prime for that. In which case, because you don't have an ongoing Prime, then I get that. 100%. If it's like, you don't have Amazon Prime already to watch it, then I 100% get that. By all means. But if you already had Prime, it's like, <laughs> just watch it, you know? <laughs> Why are you wasting a little bit of your time? I don't know. But if you don't have that, it's like, yeah, 100% get that. We finally have the help. I skip. Skip, 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 Lucky for us. That's right. Remember, it came. She's all the way over there. Because <laughs> she didn't have time to walk all the way over here, so it stopped her in conversation. Where's Shin? Is he downstairs? He didn't have time to get up here as well? I fucking so bugged this dialogue. She's still stuck over there. Step one. Shin's not even in the room. He's talking it's from like the plan. stairwell and over there, or like downstairs. Find any you have dismissed. Where is Shin at? Where is Shin? He's totally fucking downstairs, isn't he? Yep, he's right there. He was trying to walk his way up, and he got caught in the stairwell. <laughs> All right. Old world science. Receiving reports of people going missing. 
all over Appalachia. Yeah, it's not like the show is a, you know, a game where you're spending 60, 70 bucks, you know, on it. It's a TV show, right? But if you don't have a Prime sub, then it's like, oh yeah. Makes sense fully. Where am I going? Oh my god. Fucking 96. <sighs> right, this is where we gotta rescue the people inside. Oh my god, dude, I am running so fucking much across the map today. Uh, honestly, I think we just surfed the fucking train line all the way there. It takes us pretty much right there, so. Alright. Uh, do I need to craft some ammo and repair while we're here? Armor was pretty fresh today. It's fine. How's the fixer doing? The fixer's good as well. Let's drop off the legendaries. Hope I can reach over the bar, but we could not. They say they will, then I want to be a part of it. Man, I wish I could listen to Fallout Radio. Ah, because we're going to be walking for the uh, next, like, fucking 20 minutes, feels like, to get down there. Uh, Palmer, were you talking about to me about the Tadpole mission line? You got to be talking to somebody in chat, right? There's no way you're talking to me about that, right? I just saw the message from earlier. Because, uh, yeah, I don't fuck with that on permadeath characters. There's no point. There's literally no point. On my main character, obviously. There's no point not doing that, you know? I've done that on... I think I've only done it on my main, though. I don't think I did it on my alt or my... my a couple, well, I did it on, like, one alt. That's, but, yeah, that's because I was playing with somebody the entire time. Yeah, doing that for every character would be ass, because the problem is, like, the easiest, like, last badge that you could get is the swimming badge, which means you gotta res somebody in water. So, if you don't do that, then you gotta go through a bazillion hoops to get the badges, and it's just too much of a pain in the ass. Like, the upgrade, uh, is pretty good. It's next to 30 pounds, uh, I'm pretty sure, because I'm pretty sure max level re this regular backpack is 60, because the max regular, the max small one that I have is only 60 or 30, right? The fuck? Why is there a scorch based out here? Random. Okay. Fucking random encounters, alright. Hmm. You don't want tarnishing the, the IP for you? I could get that as well. Especially considering the, the uh... You having fun here, bud? Whoa there, buddy. Calm down. What the fuck? Thank you. Yeah, I could get that, especially considering uh, the Halo TV show. Considering I just talked about how crap that show is for fucking on my... F well, not my favorite franchise, but one of, a f you know, a franchise I do enjoy. I definitely get that. I don't think it's going to though. I, I mean, everything that I've seen from the trailers looks fucking great, man. Plus, I got a good cast of uh, some of the actors are actually like people I've seen before doing some good work, you know? Like, you know, I think, I think it's gonna be good. Cause yeah, the Halo TV show definitely fucking just... Listen, I already went on a rant on that. I'm not talking about that again. But I get that. I do get that. I 
I don't know though. I feel like they really gotta drop the ball to uh, tarnish the IP with the show. Like I'm pretty sure even the Lord of the Rings TV show, which the internet for the most part didn't like and I still don't really know why. Um, I thought it was okay. I, I didn't hate it, you know? I thought it was, thought it was decent enough. Uh, even that hasn't tarnished like Lord of the Rings, so I don't know. Did I play Once Human? I did uh, for the previous beta, not this one. Um, I didn't do much of it. I got a taste of it. I know it's pretty cool. Uh, it plays pretty smooth. Uh, it's kind of all over the place on the genre and like what it's trying to be. And I'm kind of okay with that. But there's really no point in me playing it uh, right now because they're just, it's another test and everything I did in the previous one, which wasn't much, but that'd be wiped. So they're just gonna keep doing that. So whenever they stop doing wipes, that's when I'll jump in. Uh, but right now, there's really no point in me continuing to play it. Like if it's a you know extraction shooter, you know like Tarkov or fucking whatever, or like a League of uh, not League of Legends, fucking uh, Path of Exile, like a new league, you know, it's a different story, right? With wipes. Um, but for something that's more like an MMO, I don't want to do betas and shit, and also just deal with wipes. Cause that shit's fucking annoying. And I did enough of like beta testing everything for everybody for free back in the day, and I'm good with that, you know? I'm done. So once human looks fucking cool, but uh, I'm good for now, you know? Actors in the FaceTime? The thing is, you say actors and their FaceTime, I bet you that's not the case for the Halo TV show. There's no way he was like, I'm only going to be an actor if I can take my helmet off. No, I bet you they wrote that in. I bet you they like thought the regular like non-Halo audience, you know, just regular TV watchers, I thought they probably couldn't deal with a, a you know, a faceless individual main character, you know, a helmeted fucking hero like that's I I almost guarantee you that's what it was it was the writing it was like the showrunners it was fucking something I I highly doubt it was an actor be like that boy could be if you could fucking take my helmet off all the time it's like nah dude like I get it shit on actors for that kind of stuff um I'm good though nah like that dude I haven't I've never heard anything about him besides, like, Steam and stuff. I've never seen, like, articles about him. To be fair, I also didn't remember his name until someone mentioned it a second ago. Uh, but I don't think it's I don't think it's one of those uh, situations. I think it's just bad, like, production. You know, bad writing, bad that kind of shit. Because I bet you that was fucking part of it, you know? Normal viewers ain't going to tolerate the dread look? I don't know, man. Fucking, it's... Speaking of, I don't know, is it, is it just me? Let me just want another Dread. Because fucking the, the new, the reboot was with fucking Carl Urban as Dread. That was fucking good. I loved it. I'll take that bet. Find me an article and I'll believe you. Until then, I'm blaming the showrunners. Because the writing in general for that is also atrocious. So I'm going to blame them for everything. Especially when I know it's an actor that I've seen in a bunch of the shit who's good, and I highly doubt it's that. I highly doubt it's that. Now, I'm not saying it's out of the realm of possibility. I'm just willing to throw the entire weight of the show on, uh, like, the writers and the showrunner and that kind of stuff, and not the actor. Master Chief felt like a secondary character's own series. Really? Like I said, I didn't watch much of the show that I can recall. I got maybe halfway through, three quarters max. I, again, I don't even remember how far. It was so forgettable of a show. I don't remember how much it was. Now it wasn't. It was only like a year or two ago that I, well, the first season was out, right? Maybe a couple years ago. You? I don't know. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago, and I can't remember fucking shit. That's how like <laughs> meh it was. Like the Sloan Dreadmore? I don't remember that one. I feel like it's uh, the the 
Carl Urban one's more fresh memory. Stallone one, I, I definitely recall some clips, and I know he's good, obviously. Stallone isn't one of those actors that's, like, been, like, pissing away his, uh, his old age fame, you know? Like, Stallone's still pretty good, right? Not like What's-His-Face. Uh, <laughs> ponytail, sunglasses cop, whatever his name is. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> he's not great. Uh, Stallone's pretty decent, though. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I guess I'm probably just a big Carl Urban fan, though. That's probably it. Demolition Man? Isn't Demolition Man the fucking seashells shit? They predicted a lot of stuff accurately, which is kind of funny. Seagal? Yeah, Steven Seagal. Ugh. <sighs> Dude's just churning out these fucking, like, D-tier action films. Like, I, I've seen, like, a couple different YouTube videos that, like, it go in-depth about, like, just watching these films and shitting on them. And it's just like, how are these? You know what? Okay, sure. Carl Urban was insistent that Dread never take his helmet off because Dread never takes it off. See? That's a good act right there. The thing is, I don't know if uh, what's his face who plays Chief like played the games, you know? Because on the flip side, you might be thinking, oh yeah, some people definitely like they'll read all the books for whatever they're playing for the TV show or the movie, you know? Uh, you might be like, oh, but that's a lot of video games. Like, well, I mean, each campaign is probably like ten hours tops, you know? It's not that much. Yeah, that's what the fucking, like, that's why that bit is a, it's a classic union. Because it's just, it just always comes up in a fucking Reddit comment for something like that. It's like, oh, that's the seashells. And it's like, wait, what? No, the, uh, what the fucking, Demolition Man, like, predicted some fucking bullshit about the, the future, which is now, you know, with fucking advertisers running all kinds of bullshit, you know? Jesus, what a fucking tank. Wait, why am I not stealthed? Hello? Am I not wearing my armor? Okay, we didn't, we're not gonna talk about that chat, okay? Seeing the three seashells in the uh, bathrooms in Cyberpunk was cracking me up. I don't know if I did. Maybe I did? I don't know. I feel like I've seen that reference in a lot of other shit. I don't know if I saw it in Cyberpunk. I'm kind of sad Cyberpunk doesn't have more DLCs planned. I'm like, obviously they're coming out with like a sequel, you know? Maybe that's the multiplayer version or whatever. Man, the fucking... Phantom Liberty was so goddamn good. So goddamn good. Just about time to eat. for me. It does. A lot of stems on that guy. Nice. Whoa, hey -o. Calm down. I mean, at least we got Fallout London to look forward to at the end of the month. That'll be a fun little playthrough. 
still, there's like nothing else to look forward to this year, man. Everything else that I want to play is just like a bunch of fucking extraction shooters. That'll almost certainly be letdowns. Either that or I'm not going to be able to fucking make it a good stream game, you know? I can feel it. Like, not a lot on the fucking horizon this year. It's a real bummer. Yeah, they're they're trying and they're succeeding, Elmin, and it's fucking annoying. But it's alright, I can eat after the uh, stream. Hour and a half and the trailer's out, so we'll watch that. Now should man lords at all? Nah. Nah. Uh that's like a strategy game, isn't it? I don't really do strategy games anymore. I loved those growing up, but uh yeah, I mean I might see somebody playing it, I'm like, ooh, that could actually be fun, but uh I feel like I probably looked it up a little bit when it got announced, and I'm just, I don't know, I don't know. RTS plus City Builder? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, a buddy of mine has a little shelf in his guest bathroom where the TP holder has three seashells sitting on it, yep. And it's in the other actual TP's not in an obvious spot, yeah, that's, that's the way to go about it. Demo is good. Oh, there's a demo of it. So now you guys are making me look it up. Just don't think I'm gonna be into it. I really don't. Anner Lords. <sighs> Strategy game featuring in-depth city building, large-scale tactical battles. Okay, so it's not just about the strat. I mean, large-scale tactical battles. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be like. Uh... Banner Lords, you know, Mountain Blade Banner Lords, but without the actual, like, first or third person combat, you know? That's what I feel like it looks like. It looks like the camera gets down there, but I still don't see them actually fighting it out, you know? Which, I don't know if I could really get into that, you know? I don't know. But that's the thing, That's maybe that's why I fall off of uh, Banner Lords every time I do a big run, you know? It's because I end up getting tired of actually going into combat. Maybe the strategy would keep me... To it, I don't know. I just, uh, I have no interest in it right now. Uh, this could very well change when someone I, I watched maybe starts streaming it, you know? If I see any streamers popping it, like maybe, but at the moment, uh, not on my horizon. Two million wish lists, though, apparently. They made a dev post in January about that. Yeah, people are interested in that, for sure. First game where my CPU fixed the max spec. <laughs> uh, don't get your hopes up, man. Modern gaming is very disappointing on performance for shit, you know? It could be poorly uh, optimized. But the fact that they set the max so far to your that low is, uh, you know, hey, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe you're good to go. Oh, this is, is this not, oh, this is 96, this is not 51, okay, I guess 51 was up there, I guess for some reason I always associated this being the nuclear winter vault, and I guess it's because this vault came in, was placed in the game, I think around the same time, that nuclear winter actually came out, maybe? Hmm, I don't know, whatever, doesn't matter. Frozen one, I remember. A little late to the sure look at our <laughs> name, my god. 
Yeah. Nico. Yeah. Kidnapped, I'd say. It's in the best of But we so it's can't Listen, she died on her own, okay? That was a... That was, I shot the ground over to your left, okay? She's fine. She's just taking a nap, okay? Wow. Conveniently, wow, she just fucking warped right here. What happened here? It looks like a... Well, that... What the hell? Give me a moment to... Ooh, that's not good. The vault's on internal lockdown. I guess someone's responding to the Blood Eagle attack. If there are automated defenses still working, they'll all be active. We may be facing more than just Blood Eagles. I didn't get any XP, which means no murder. Let's get moving. I'll follow you early. Sorry, no XP, no murder. Easy as. Clip denied. Locked. Must be the security lockdown. Let me try something. I don't see chat chiming in. Got it. I was able to use the Pit Boys protocol to get saying. the doors open, but it fried the circuits. I think chat spoken. Any more locked doors? We're gonna Silence is through. deafening. I think I'm going to start modding up a, a good laser rifle as a uh, side weapon, just in case. Because we have an auto one, but it's pretty low level, I think. So at least a couple of back. This one should be max, I think, right? Yeah. Good durability, too. Ooh, automatic lasers. Ooh, nice. I think it's actually kind of good to go at that point. Probably need a better capacitor or something, but... Oh, we already have a 45 equipped, I guess. Well, then. What's the damage on that bitch? 66? That's probably not bad, honestly. What's the rate of fire? 91 versus the fixer's 75. Probably slaps pretty good, honestly. There ain't nothing good out here. It seems I have an excess. It do be feeling pretty good. Ah, yes. The one I met at Fort Atlas. I did hope we would meet again under more convivial circumstances. These are not they, unfortunately. What about Dune Awakening? You're right, Dune Awakening could be cool. I'm not. I must ask you to leave immediately. Please leave me. Blackburn, be. shut up. Why are your NPCs always talking and trying to talk to you? What happen if you remain? Are we good? Are we good? Okay. I guess we found out the Blackburn. <sighs> Looks like most of this place is locked off. We need to search everywhere, but our options are limited right now. God damn it. Unskippable dialogue. Stuck open, though. <laughs> Let's start there. Are you good? Are we good? We're good. Okay. My problem with Dune Awakening is it's made by uh, Funcom. And while I enjoyed uh, Age of Conan back in the day, their MMO, um, I did not like enjoy Conan Exiles because it wasn't an MMO. It was a... I don't know what to call it because it's not quite a build em up genre. The build em up is what I call like shit like Rust, where it's all about like the base building and raiding other people. There's like PVE in it and stuff, but like it was, as I guess, a survival building game. That's it's just not for me, you know. This vault was a biological research facility originally. And of course, now Blackburn's it fucking getting in the way again. Perhaps it is fitting that I found this place. I have been. 
been honest about my purpose. Shut up, Blackbird. After a fashion. But less than four coming from this nature. Anyways. Turret. Uh, my problem with Dune Awakening is... It, uh... Doesn't look like it's gonna be amazing. Oh, they really want me to fucking grab it, huh? Because I played it already? Why does it tell me to use that, though? And down. Go, 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 go. Robotics control failure in the mainframe wing. Activating emergency fabrication protocol FS401. Genetic circuits 10, 18, 57. Is, uh, I don't know if it's actually going to be an MMO or not with Dune Awakening. The footage, we haven't seen much actual gameplay at all. It looks gorgeous because it's Unreal 5, right? And some of the stuff they said sounds cool. Like it sounds like they've got some inspiration from Star Wars Galaxies, which is stuff I like to hear as somebody who loved the sandbox elements from that and just the game in general from back in the day. Uh... Research log. But, uh, I don't know, man. I'm not optimistic. Like, the game could be sweet, but I don't know enough about it still, and they've been pretty vague with everything they've shared. Like, uh, shared? Oh, I said sharing. That's not a word. Um, everything they've shared with us is, like, not, they're not inspiring confidence, 100%, you know? And considering it seems like it might very much just be like a dune-skinned Conan Exiles, I'm not down for that. If it's actually an MMO, it'd be a different story. But I'm really so fucking sick of server uh, the games that be like, Ah oh, yes, join US-17 and build your base there and uh, play there and uh, log off and uh, you go to US-18. Well... Start fresh. It's like the the Daisy formula. I'm fucking sick of, and that's what Conan Exiles very much is. Obviously, with a lot more on the building aspect, so it's kind of more of a Rust hybrid as well. But still, really okay. It's uh, it could be sick. Dune Awakening could be sick. I'm just setting my expectations to essentially nothing. Uh, that way, if it actually ends up being okay, then I'll be happy. With all the other, like, extraction shooters that I'm waiting for, at least I know they're going to be in a genre I enjoy, right? But I don't actually know that about Dune Awakening. And I can't say I'm, like, a massive fan of, like, the Dune IP either, you know? Like, I watched uh, the new movie and the old one, uh, the first and the second one, you know? And, like, they're not bad, you know? But they're not amazing. I can't say I'm like, ah, I've been waiting for a Dune game. You know, like, that's not it, right? It's a vessel for no me to have, like, a potential new sci-fi MMO. God damn it, man. All these fucking I NPCs talking over me. Leave this place and do not return. There is nothing for <sighs> you here but sorrow. Whatever you think you will accomplish here, I promise you that you will not. Good. Hey, then. Um, I don't know. For me, like, Dune Awakening is just a vessel for a potentially sci-fi MMO. And if it is an actual MMO, and it's good, that'd be sick. But if it's not, then I don't know. Your favorite type of game? Uh, good question. I don't know. Used to be MMOs back in the day, but obviously MMOs have been kind of shit for a long time. And I don't have, like, a, a WoW to, like, keep going back to for all the, like, new updates and shit, you know? Research log, Dr. Edgar Black. Like, I'm kind of jealous of people who can actually play that, because, like, I wish I had that nostalgia, and I wish I had, like, the being able to hop in and, like, enjoy, like, the new season of Discovery that probably just came out like, a couple days ago, or last week, or whatever the fuck that was, you know? Like, I wish I had that, and I, I just, I've never played the game, and it's, it's too late for me to start, you know? So it's like, eh. I don't know. Like, I played a fuck ton of MMOs in my day, and, uh... 
none of them are playable anymore, you know? The ones that are, are like emulators, and they're not the same. Because a lot of it was a community, and a lot of it was nostalgia as well. And a lot of it is not being remotely interested in that old style of gameplay. So, I don't know. I, I don't... Favorite type of game? I don't know. Shooters, I guess. RPGs. Open open world sandboxes, ideally, I guess. Be them single player or multiplayer. Preferably multiplayer, even more preferably MMO. But I, you know, just, I guess, open world sandboxes. Open world games, and then that if I have to narrow it down, sandboxes, I guess, from there. There you go. Hey. You know. Listen. I just found a helper. Now the thing sure. I got bored of death matches ago. Uh, for me, it's the big combined arm shooters. Yeah, combined arm shooters are cool, but I do get tired of those uh, after a while, anyways. So I don't really do much to regular squad anymore, or any of like the the World War II variants, you know, like Hell at Loose or whatever, post mortem, post post mortem, you know. Uh, like I don't, nah, nah, I don't, I don't know, post scriptum, post scriptum, post mortem is after death, obviously. Uh, you know, postscriptum was the was the the shooter, the World War II shooter, which I think they renamed it Squad 44. I think because I think Hell Out Loose stayed good on its own. That one's made by I think Team 77, the dudes who made Worm, I think, or this the publisher. Um, but uh, no, it's they they renamed postscriptum to Squad 44, I think, because they started working with Offworld Industries, which is the guys who make Squad. Because they were already making it on the same engine. What are you doing, Tally? Like, holy shit. What the fuck are you doing? Just talk. There you go. Looks like I was right. She is spazzing out. No problem. You've got interesting friends, Initiate. Research log, Dr. Ed. It's a cool mod for squad called Global Exclamation. Adds tons of factions and local chat can be heard by all. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure that's cool. I don't know. I feel like I've put in enough time in squad that I'm kind of burnt out, you know? Like, I can enjoy that in little These bits here and there, but... Eh. Stopped here so that the captive scientists could it's hard to get excited for those types of games. Nature. Now, like West Tech, if they made they that in MMO, it would be a different story, you know? Like, crazy, giant map, brain. you know? Like, that would be best, fucking sick. I don't know, man. Such I love me some Planet Side 2 back in the day. I have turned what they left God, behind. this NPC won't shut the fuck up when I'm trying to talk, man. I loved me some Planet Side 2 back in the day, but what I loved even more in college was playing uh, World War II Online. That was fucking fun as shit. Uh, they did, like, a graphics update a long time ago, and it still... Even the graphics update won't look good by modern standards remotely at all, but, like, the core of that game was sick because they... I don't think it was a... It was, like, a full-on, like, European front for World War II, at only half scale so flying from like any of like the english air bases to go on a bombing run or to paratroop in behind the front line took you actually like a half hour or hours like in the actual plane 
And it was like, on one hand, you're like, ain't no one got time for that shizzle. You're right. Nowadays, uh, now that we're all older, we don't. But back in college, man, I'd fucking love that shit, dude. Flying in that game was so jank and, like, terrible, I could not do it at all. And you know me if you've been around a long time. I'm a fucking pilot on sim games and shit. I never bothered to get into that with shit. <laughs> it was just like, nah, I'll leave it to the actual pilots who've been playing this shit for years. But I played that on and off for a while, and, man, it was just... It was fun as shit, man. Like, it was so jank. As a shooter, man, it was... God, it was awful. But the whole, like, the war effort and, like, actually, like... <laughs> just, it was so good, oh my man. God. Smell. Like actual proper big open world MMOs can be fucking I amazing. The ugliness you find here. Research long, Dr. Ed. It was necessary, but that necessity made them no more pleasant or palatable. Here's in general trying to do similar. Here in general felt like it was a small I version of it. Must intend to kill me. Like they didn't actually make big maps. Like, they had, like, a, a, a global map maybe for it, but they didn't have actual, like, large maps. Like, World War II Online was literally just a single map. That's how fucking massive it was. It was nutty. She's fine. The glass is there. Please. Help us. Molly Cooper Biology Log uh, 280. What is this? The specimen record is blank. No vitals, no measurements, no source data. Just an ID. X001. The cellular structure is unlike anything I've ever seen. I can't even identify the organelles. I ran it through the DNA sequencer. of the forced evolutionary virus for idiot savant. They saw weapons, soldiers to win a war that would end. God damn it. They're really making me go through all these fucking terminal entries? Or do I have to pop the fucking hollow manually? There it goes, okay. Blue's Mask one's the best map I've ever played in an FPS since Zanly Good. Yeah, I don't think I've actually played that for Squad. I feel like they were still making that last time I was, like, tuning into whatever they're doing with Squad. Oh, thank God. You've got my... I'm not bad enough. Weird thing. Don't let me die in here. We ain't going anywhere. Hey, if you... Disease cure. Oh shit! I should have given him disease cure. Oh well. All right, whatever. I had the option to give her disease cure and cure sludge lung, but oh well. Oops. She'll be fine. Maybe I played that one? I don't know. I definitely felt like I played a pretty solid sized map after a certain point. I don't remember if it was called Fluge or not, though. But I definitely remember being in a big ass fucking squad map. Desert City, but I don't know if it was actually Fluge or not. Possible I'm confusing that with uh, fucking Project Reality, which is what squad's based on. These doors open. Frozen. Oh, thank God. No, it seems futile. I ask one final time. Leave this vault and the things you have seen. 
You cannot change what has happened here. Leave me to this cold and lonely place. The card doesn't... Blackbird must... If he's... I knew a lot of these doors. If we can look for you... This should be it. Take a look. See if you could find the lines to the overseer's office. Wait, do I not have the strength either? I don't have much int either. I guess maybe I have it. Maybe I have the int. I don't. Oh my god. Can I really not do anything? Smash controls on hope. Wow. One of my tutors called that method ape dynamics. Hopefully that did <laughs> It worked. Trip. Whatever. Good enough. We should check it out. Listen, normally most of my characters have a lot of fucking intelligence, right? And they can actually fucking just get right through that. You know, I don't have any bladed weapons on me. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> The commando build. Not melee. It appears neither the vault defenses nor the blood eagles were a match for you. You can look. Yeah, consider my work. I. You can head out. I'm sure. Good work. Oh, she's fine. Hooray! Guess who gets to walk all the way to the north end of the map now? This guy. You know what? It actually might be a better bet if we actually do look for it. it. Was like third hill up, I think. So one, two, three, then off to the right, somewhere like there, ish. Because if memory serves, I've done the quest line already. Motherload should be down here somewhere, and I can just warp straight up to right next to the fucking Brotherhood. So let's see if we can find the uh, quick travel. Because this is the only fast travel that's allowed. Because it's an in-game mechanic. Problem is, I never fucking remember where the hell the mother load's chilling out here. Don't do it. Don't do it. Not your combat music. Don't fucking charge me. You're gonna have a bad time. Running. Oh, okay. They're just running away. They're good.
I think I'm supposed to be down below the ridge. I think we stay down. We're getting close. Shh. Feel like this, uh, that's a vertebrate, right? Yeah. NPCs out here. What are these white dots? NPCs chilling. Some brother initiates next to another crash vertebrate. There's two crash vertebrates out here? And preserve. These two have to be a random encounter, right? Like, what about the other one? Is the other one random? That one's not random, right? That's gotta be... Hmm. Whatever. I think we still have a... Oh, we still have a long ways to go! Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? We're not even really close. Why does this tiny little run feel way longer than it would have been to get like all the way up here already? I feel like fucking normally on the streams like time goes at like either a normal or accelerated rate. I feel like for some reason I'm like at like a fucking 0.25 multiplier right now. I don't get it. Maybe the map's using Mercado projection. Uh, De Bureau, uh, I don't even fucking know what the fuck you just said, man, alright? I feel like I vaguely heard that term before, but now you're gonna make me fucking, like, Google that, alright? And I'm not a fan of you, okay? I mean, sure, you're giving me something to do with my other mouse while I'm fucking running, but, like... Uh, Mercado's conformal cylindrical map projection that was originally created to display accurately compass... Okay, sure. Uh, it's presented by Mercado in 1569. Okay, cool. So cylindrical fucking map instead of the circle. Alright, cool story, bro. What? Look at you fucking like, hey, let's just drop some historical facts, because, yeah, fucking people are going to fucking remember that one. No, we're not going to know what the fuck you're talking about, okay? <laughs> it was a good reference, but... Nah. I'm not getting that one. Although, I, we're at the edge of the map right here. What is that? Oh, there she is! Wait a second, why is the fence right fucking there? That's weird. Alright, whatever. Wakey wakey. I recall, go to the east, because the north one is not that much further than it, but south is where we're at, so we gotta go east. There's some more knowledge upon thee. No, fuck you, Turvy, okay? Because I'm pretty sure you just deleted, like, an old core memory of, like, playing something on the N64 or something like that back in the day, man, all right? You're giving me useless knowledge that I'm never gonna fucking use again. Versus, there's some, there's, there's old memories, all right? That you're fucking deleting with that useless shit. <laughs> what was the name of my first cat? I don't even know. Oh god. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> now all I know is about a stupid fucking cylindrical map from the 1500s. My cat wasn't named Mercotter. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> How dare you.
Oh yeah, so much time saved. Sure, it's a bit of a run, hoofing it that way, but... Yeah. The fuck was that noise? Is that a nuke launching? No, we should have heard the fucking notification. What is that noise? Like, there's no players remotely to my south. There's this guy all the way at the fucking... The, uh, the relay. Which actually, it's not even like that array. It's a different one. What the fuck are those noises? Mothman? No, I'm hearing like explosions. They sound like almost... It sounded like, uh... When a fucking warthog fucking zooms in, you know, the A-10 fucking... What you hear, you hear all the explosions going brrr, and then you hear the err fucking off in the distance from the actual plane, you know? From the fucking sound difference. It sounded like the impact of a fucking A-10 going off. Like a ton of explosions just going brrr, Like that's what it was. What the fuck was that? Someone firing off a Merv launcher, but they're crouched on the map so I can't see them? Because I'm pretty, at least I'm pretty sure back in the day, I'm pretty sure if you crouch, if you're actually in stealth, I don't think you actually show up on the map. Could be wrong. Yeah, this guy's not here now. He's possibly fast travel, just of course, but like I don't get it. That's fucking weird, man. Mysterious noises in seventy six. How crazy would it be if they snuck some crazy events and or like some big update for like a new storyline and shit into 76 in the, the game files but they didn't put it on the test server so people didn't test it and they didn't know about it and like there's weird shit that starts unfolding as the tv show like fucking gets ready to air that'd be cool it's not happening though that's the shit i missed from back in the day though from old mmos man You'd have actual, like, developers in-game, like, running, like, events and shit, you know? Like, occasionally fucking Darth Vader would show up outside of a fucking Starport and shit, and, like, it would be, like, a dev, a dev who's, like, playing it usually, and he'd be spawning in shit, and so it'd be, like, a big event for, like, you know, Imperials would show up to try and defend the, the Vader, as well as, like, the Rebels would show up trying to attack him and take all of his troops and shit, you know? Like, Old World Science solved a lot of problems back Actual then. game masters in MMOs, man? It needs to be a thing, man. You need to bring those back. And I'm not talking about Joel and Hell Divers, okay? Threats are not required. With Unless Joel done, was actually getting in game as shooting with the I lasers, I, I still right feel now. like that might be my uh, Please, running theory. This that was accurate. Is getting us nowhere. All right, come on. Come on. There you go. This smug monster. Skip, 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 do da. Do you see? If all you, it's not that preventing duck. My wheel. Yes, black head to. I don't like. This is just Elder Matt. If they've already. Very well. Okay. If I can prevent. You got it. Then it's. Oops, he's. Although to be fair, we want to shoot him anyway, because he's kind of a bastard. America. Take the old and West Tech, West, well, I can't speak. West Tech is still kind of far from here. It's not real hard ass to keep all these rough and tumble. It's not awful, but it's not great. Why so heavy? If you're looking to make a difference, come to the right place. All right, the lasers. Okay, let's see what we have as far as uh, weapon mods go for this thing. So the gamma wave adds a little bit extra capacity as well as a fire dot. Critical damage. Oh, we want vicious. Oh, we need science too, though.
It's not really going to increase anything. It's going to drop my... Uh, no. Eh. I'll have to accuracy a little bit. We need fiber optics for that, though. Ooh, aligned would be good. Minus one AP cost, that'd be good, actually. Ooh, wow, minus four for that? That's kind of crazy. Um, so what do I need? We're trying to do the stock, but science two for that one, okay. Do I have any science cards that we're chilling on? We don't. I could pick a science card, but honestly, I'd rather just get some extra adrenaline. Are we all done with this? Yeah, it looks like we're good on that one. Um, some adrenaline. Like we're gonna use that shit anymore. Wait, okay, how about saying like wait what the fuck? Where'd it go? Now the long march begins. I think we can finish this quest line today before the trailer drops. We got forty five minutes before the trailer comes out. It's enough time to get to West Tech and run the quest. The quest shouldn't be... I don't think there's that much stuff to do there. I think it's pretty much you like... You get there, then he tricks you, then he transforms himself, and then you fight maybe a couple waves of stuff, but then I think you fight him. I don't think there's a lot of walking around. I think it's pretty straightforward. I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. I uh, hope you're having a decent week. Regardless whether you're chatting or lurking. Appreciate all y'all.
Oh, Jesus Christ. I definitely wasn't looking at my other monitor at Twitter. Wasn't. <gasps> no! no! Oh my. Fucking God! <laughs> So, one of these little fucking robots was legendary. Which means he blew up like a nuke. And I wasn't full HP. I don't remember if I stimmed. I was only down like a third HP max. But it was enough. Uh, let's go check, see. <clears throat> One of those fuckers better be legendary Because if there isn't a legendary there because I wasn't paying attention I was on autopilot because I was looking at Twitter on the way there and I was like, oh, I'm getting attacked Let me come back to the keyboard and I just started vatsing stuff I didn't realize one of them was legendaries because legendary robot ro ro uh, I can't speak anymore <clears throat> Legendary robots if you're unaware in Fallout 4 and 76 they blow up like a nuke So Kind of got to pay attention when you're draw destroying robots uh but I didn't see that. So if uh if there's no body with a legendary on it, that means that yeah, look I can fall off and like I probably could have just jumped from the top. This suit saves me. But it's not gonna save me from explosions. Which means if there's no legendary body here, that means I got killed by a glitch, because occasionally it's rare, it's really fucking rare, but occasionally robots in 76 will just randomly explode like they have a nuke in them, like they were legendary. They're legendary. There it is right there. God fucking damn it. That was a completely avoidable death, dude. I just stood on top of a fucking nuke. Ugh. Insult to injury. The second star, less explosion damage, chess piece. Ah, lovely. Well, let's go get ready to loot the character. God fucking damn it, dude. I don't think this character has anything to care about. I think we can just delete and restart immediately, but... God, that's fucking... Uh, I was liking the legendary run too. Does this character have anything I need to transfer over? I don't think I have any good plans on this character. I think I can just delete him and just go straight into the next one. I'll do my due diligence on we'll get a little bit of Gamba in. Okay, let's see. 
Notes. Plans. Um, black, ah, I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> okay, um, Nuka Quantum Grenade. I don't think it's really that special. I'll just drop, you know, I'll just drop these plants for anybody who wants them. None of these look particularly, ah, uh, bottle, bottle and cappy patch, just painting statue. Damn it, I want to give that to somebody, but. Well. Yes, whoever gets it, gets it. I don't think we have any clothing to drop for anybody, do we? No, we didn't get any good rare drops in this character, which is good. So we can just gamba our way for some weapons, and the likelihood of getting anything worth carrying over is pretty slim. But we're going to do some gamba on some two-star ranged. Vampire's Radium, wow. Ghoul Slayer's Speed, wow. Explosive, 44. Wow, amazing. None of these are good. None of these are good. Alright. Now we get enough for two more. Oh, explosive dragon! <laughs> Fuck, I kind of want to use that actually. <sighs> I don't think I have anybody on my friends list that'll transfer this right now. I don't think I have anybody online. Because an explosive dragon would be kind of cool for a new character. If I can use legendaries. Can't see. I have no idea if some aim is online because the fucking thing at the top. It, shows, it says offline. I can't re really read it. Yep. All right. Well, I guess uh, someone's getting a lucky little thing here. Explosive dragon. Damn. Uh, if you want it, Frog Doc, it's you. I'll add you, but I don't. I'm not gonna bother transferring this at this point. There's no point. I mean, it's not that great of a dragon. It's just a mutant's explosive dragon. But, I mean, it's an explosive dragon, so it's cool. But, I don't think I'm just going to leave this shit in this area, and I think I'm just going to bounce to the next server. Drop the sodas for the Okay, I didn't want... Uh, okay, well, we hit the wrong button. It's fine. Let's drop the sodas for whoever. Nah, I'm good. <sighs> I mean, I can, you can add me if you want. Same thing as Twitch. If you want to add me. I mean, because the thing is, like, I don't know if I, you know what? I should probably roll the next character to begin with. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to keep it. That's the thing. Like, I don't want to bother, like, having you do all this shit if I can't even use it. The next character might not be able to use legendaries, you know? I'm just gonna drop it for whoever wants it in this fucking game, I think. All these sodas here.
All right, frog. Uh, I'll just have you transfer two things. Have you have transfer this plant and the dragon. That'll be good enough. Even if my next character can't use them, I'll just keep them for now. Can't come to you because uh, world ending. Oh, okay, got you. I'll join you. That's fine. Just join on you. Yeah, just hop on one and I'll join on you. Guess I should grab all this. I'll drop them for somebody else in the next world. Man, that's so fucking disappointing. I can't believe I died to a fucking legendary bot, dude. I didn't even realize it was a fucking legendary. That's the problem, man. Like, doing a stealth commando, no legendary character for perma, like, I became too complacent for all regular fucking mobs, so I didn't realize it was a legendary. So I'm just like, ah, does Vats just fucking hold down left click and spacebar occasionally? <sighs> Hate Skynet? Yeah. Skynet, that's not a bad name. Because I feel like I hate commie bots. I feel like that, you know? I don't know if that's good. I feel like I might get hit by a name filter or something, you know? Oh man, that's fucking annoying, dude. Such a bullshit death, too. It's like one of the, that's up there for like easily preventable ones. Like when I fell off a fucking cliff twice, by the way. I lost two different characters to that. so fucking annoying, man. Appreciate you, frog. Um, I'm only gonna drop two things I want. It's the dragon and this plan. My fucking god. <sighs> Alright, cool. I just learned the plan on a character that's gonna get deleted. Alright, just just transfer the dragon. I'm gonna drop the rest of the stuff for whoever wants out here. God fucking damn it, man. You're free to go through any of this if you want it, by the way. Any of these plans here. This is going to be a lot of garbo in a second here. I don't think, like, what do people actually want to grab? God damn it. Okay, cool. Such a stupid fucking death, man. So stupid. so annoying. Alright. Thank you. God damn it. Alright. Off to the next. I really hate people. Goodbye. Didn't even make it to 52 or 53, man. God, that's, that's so stupid. Watch. <clears throat> Next character is gonna get like the. I can only use the first archetype of legendary that I loot, and it's gonna be the. Um, 
it's gonna be a, a fucking melee weapon or something that's not a rifle because that's the what the dragon is it's a rifle This great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may and have next been year they'd all Vault be piling in here because the nukes gone off by you good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. I think I've already done I Hate Robots. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen it has to be like, I hate robots too, or I really hate robots. I, mean, I think, think Skynet's pretty good. Brightest. For when the fighting has stopped, and the fallout has settled. You no, all the stuff on the ground, that's for random people to pick walls, up frog. I don't want any of that. Buildings, that's all random. I can't use that on my next character. Mines, and ultimately, America itself. Bag is literally for whoever. So the one thing I want is a dragon. Today, we pray that the world will know peace. That's why I dropped it where I dropped but it, so anybody can grab if it. that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. Yeah, the bag is dropped for whoever wants it. Like, that's, yeah, that's all good. I can't use any of that on the next character, anyways. The only reason the, uh, the, the dragon is usable is because I gambled it, essentially, right? So because that wasn't my high solo character, I allow myself to, like, inherit like one item over as far as weapons go which means i was able to like take that gambled item and then swap it over we've been locked away long enough today is reclamation day it may be time to leave but i'll never forget the day you all entered vault 76 you come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be my family. I do not have hair. Why is that guy showing I have hair? Okay, that's weird. I think someone else is playing their character at the same time. Uh, what's a good pro picks for this character? The computers. No, no, this is here. Hmm. All right, whatever. Didn't know the plasma animal. There you go. Yeah, all that other stuff is just like stuff I figured somebody might want. That's why I dropped it in the open. Shit. But no, the dragon is technically usable because I gambled it with the, the script from a previous character, right? Because whenever I'm dead, with a, whenever a character is dead, I take everything and script it. And then I, from scripts, I can then gamble only via the purveyor. And that's like, then I can grab that, you know? When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. Oh, there's no point. There's no point in doing cards yet. We actually don't know what this character's gonna get for as far as uh. I guess we can make the new character now. We'll roll when we get outside. We'll roll when we get outside the ball. So, about the message repeats in 24 hours. 
Still pretending it's reclamation day, are we? Yeah, I am. Fuck off. Never stop learning. Kind of miss that you can't see the cards anymore. Do you still actually see the special cards there? They take them out because they do the whole like, do you want to start level 20 or not anymore? Which I don't. I don't want that. Goodbye. Aloha. Ciao. Arrivederci. Au revoir. I really don't like that you can't just free ball like you normally do. Okay. Now we get the roulette wheel out. Oh boy. Vanilla? It's kind of boring. Okay. I guess. I really want to do that. I mean, I could. I don't know. I feel like I should roll again. I don't know if I ever want to do a regular vanilla anymore. Do I roll again, chat? I feel like vanilla is just too boring and too easy. Because at that point, I'd have I could have everything, you know. We roll. Yeah. Ooh, well, shit. Okay. Uh, we might not be able to use that dragon. I'm gonna be sorely disappointed if I if I uh, get that as a legendary. Okay. Hold up, I, I, hold up, this character has hair. Only once. I just saw him in third person for a second. Oh, do. Bro. Wait. Wait, what? Look at, the, the hair is like floating. Look, look, if I, if I look at the sunlight, it, it shows my bald head, but it shows the texture. But then if you rotate, it... Dude, they fucked up my character. I'm, I'm relogging, I'm relogging. What the fuck did they do to my character, man? I selected the bald character. I always make like a Deckard Cain looking character. Gandalf, you know? Well, Gandalf has long hair, but still, you know. Like, what is this shit? Yeah, weapon archetype could be... Weapon archetype I feel like is the most chaotic, you know? It could be interesting, you know? Okay, I still have hair. This is not good. Well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna cover it up with a ghillie suit anyways in a little bit. There's got to be a way in there. Um, I guess in that point, I guess we'll just go into it. Hey there! Um, do I need ammo factor? I think we'll hold off on getting ammo factor because we're not gonna be crafting ammo. We will, however, go with far flung because we'll be using that for now until we get our first legendary. We'll get obviously master infiltrator, and we go for the. What rads? We go for survival. Then we leave, I think, the last two, because normally I put like a stat in the last one, so I think we'll chill. See if we need to grab any of these. Um, let's get favorite setup. Proper like. Come on. One, we never use knives. Full armor set? Oh no, we we usually they usually give us one piece, don't they? They give us like an arm piece, I think. 
I don't like this fucking giving me an entire set. Pretty sure they, the vanilla it used to give you just a chest piece and that was it. I guess I can pick these up and put them in the box for whoever. Down here. Yeah, I don't like them giving me an entire arm or set. I don't like that at all. Oh, man, I fucking made his mute just in time. Jesus. I would have fucking peaked the microphone and then some. Blown out half y'all's eardrums. Oh, God. Alright, um... What else do I need a favorite? We need to get stims on the proper spot. Let's see. So this is survival. This is... Diluted regular super, I want to say. It's a weird order from the thing but I think we go here. Yes, our fault, good. Whoa, whoa. These guys used to be lower down below. Oh. oh, he's fine. Whoa, you can, I thought, we got a tip from so after you, and he said, our last, you know, the thing that brought it. Mm-hmm. Sir. No. Wonderful. Thanks for answering. Seems only fair I return the favor. Watch your... Do you change my self-imposed stuff? No. No, the uh, the self-imposed rules stay the same. That's that's the, the baseline for every permadeath run. What changes is the specific character modifier, which is what I roll via the roulette wheel, which we just did a second ago. Which this character, th thus far, it's going to be uh, regular until I can aim for shit. This will be essentially a regular permadeath run until I get a legendary, a regular legendary, not a quest legendary, because quest legendaries don't count. The first natural legendary that I loot will determine what build I have to stick with. So if I loot a melee weapon, I have to do a melee build. If I loot a legendary pistol, I have to do a gunslinger build. I think it's gunslinger, right? Because there's two things. There's automatic pistols and regular pistols. What's the other one called? Maybe is gunslinger? I don't remember if gunslinger is the fucking pistol build or if that's the full auto pistol. But anyways, whatever the weapon drops, I will have to be stuck to that archetype. So that's the specific rules for this character beyond the normal stuff in the top left. Because the stuff in the top left is what every character has to go through. That I do, obviously. These are my rules and mine alone, so... Everyone else can do what the fuck they want with their team, you know? I don't even know if anybody else is doing primer death, really, but, you know. This is, uh, what I stick with. Okay, a little bit of rubber banding, no big deal. Yeah, that's fucking annoying. I was enjoying the uh, commando character. But hey, we got something to look forward to for next time we uh, do 76 permadeath. I don't know if we're doing that Friday or not, by the way, still. <clears throat> we might be doing uh, Fallout 3 instead. Because I've been kind of wanting to get to those finally, but... We'll see. Oh, I forgot we don't have fucking concentrated fire yet. Yeah, I don't know, uh, I don't know what we're doing next stream. We'll see on Friday. What a bullshit way to go out. Fucking bot nuke. Ah, that's disappointing.
Hope y'all having a good, uh, what's it, Tuesday now? Yeah, Tuesday morning. Appreciate you hanging out with me. Uh, probably not gonna be going much longer. Um, I'm, ki I'm kind of, like, wind taken out of my sail after losing that character. You know, but that's fine. Uh, I do enjoy fresh character starts, so next stream will be fun if I decide to do some more 76 perma. Uh, but, <clears throat> in what, nine minutes now, the uh, Outlaws trailer comes out, so I'll check that out, and then I'll call it a day. But, appreciate everyone who's hung out with me today, whether you're chatting or lurking. Man, what a fucking bullshit way to go. It wasn't even like any of my own fucking like stupidity or fucking the game fucking me. It's like literally just my own like negligence of like I just wasn't looking at a mob and I was just auto attacking like with the vats because like this character is such like if it's not like insane mobs if it's just regular like fodder out there I can just run over them with vats you know. <laughs> and, oh god it's so fucking annoying man. <laughs> uh. I don't know if I've ever actually lost a character to a fucking robot nuke. Like, I've died a lot of times to Assaultrons when they were still broken. Couple, you know, uh, gravity deaths. I've blown myself up quite a few times. Um, with various objects, either mines or grenades or cannons, you know? Like, I've died a lot of different ways for my perma runs, man. I don't know if a robot has ever gotten me, like, self-destructing. That's, uh, I think it's a new one. Too bad I've been doing fucking permadeath for years, man. I kind of want, like, a, a checklist of, like, here's ways I've died, you know? Oh, well. Oh, no. Uh, you can't help. Literally, the, there's no teaming, so I, I, I don't want help on the new character. I appreciate the offer, though. I appreciate you, you transferring the uh, the one, uh, was it, inheritance item, I guess? I don't know. Because we gambled the uh, the dragon off of the, uh, the remains of the previous character, so... I don't even know if I can use it. That's the thing. Like, we might not even be able to use it. Because we rolled on the roulette wheel that we can only use the first archetype we loot, we might not be able to use this dragon, so it might just be useless. But hey, at least uh, I can do normal legendary crafting this run. I can actually go to events. Because the last character, I, I, there was really no point in me going to events at all. Because um, I can't loot or use... Le I mean, I could loot them, but I can't use legendaries, right? So they were just for vendor caps, you know? Now that I can actually, like, at least do legendary crafting on this character, uh, I don't know what build we're going to run into. Because, again, that's up to RNG. Uh, at least, you know, we know that... I can actually go to all the events now. Not that I can get to them fast, because, you know, <laughs> can't fast travel, but still. Oh, yeah, no. I, that, that, just the dragon. Honestly, the dragon wasn't even really needed. It's not even, like... It's just, like... I'm vaguely interested to see what a modern explosive dragon looks like at all, you know? So I was like, ooh, that could be fun. That's about all it was. It wasn't even really needed, but I appreciate you doing the transfer regardless. And for melee build, hey man, last time we got stuck with the melee build, the chainsaw was fun. That chainsaw character was pretty fun. I'd be down if I had to do another chainsaw character, because the chainsaw means I got to get up close and personal with everything, which means I gotta like, if any, if I ever have to fight a legendary robot, it means I gotta pull back immediately, you know. If I ever have to fight assaultrons, oh boy, you know, like I hated the idea of the melee character last time we ever got stuck on a melee only character, but it was actually pretty interesting. So, you know, if I get stuck with that again, I'll be okay. But I need some kind of guidance, because I can't really warrant spending a lot of my early level up cards until I know where the build's going to be heading. Like, right now, I guess I could grab Concentrated Fire just to have it, because that's useful as shit early on. Actually, it's just useful in general. But beyond that, like, I don't really know, I can't really put cards for specific weapon damage types until I know, you know? So. Lady, I will paint the walls with- Honey. What are you- hey? Guy? I told you it was gonna end badly. <laughs> the stupid now, fucking ragdoll a dude does. Nice. 
It doesn't get old, it really doesn't. pointed at me more than enough for one day. Huh. Skip. Come on. First round. Name's Duck. He but See. Now. See. But I want him. Normally. But I'm willing to. So. Now. How. Well. Just give me. Huh. So what I if I did you just need they did Hey if you what are you on? Hey nah. Oh Mort. Well, of course you're gonna throw some. And so you know. Now just make oh it's Alright. This miscellaneous shit all the way, then uh I think we're good. Let's see. Is that, have they started the, the fucking countdown yet on the YouTube page? No. Two minutes. 6,800 people waiting for it. <clears throat> she talks too much. Homegirl never shuts up. I mean, to be fair, she's like a tutorial NPC, so she's that's kind of her job is to talk, you know? I don't know how this character bugged out and it gave me fucking like the weird hairdo. It's like half bald but half not. It's like I got ghost hair. What is this shit, man? There we go. Now I'm more comfortable. Now we're back in my uh, skin, as it were. Uh, what, craft a weapon? Sure, we can do that. Craft another knife. Place my own camp, huh? Okay. Uh, scrap. Two minutes. Okay, let's get the camp place down and then log off for the day. Boom, there we go. Good enough for me. Do I have time to make down? No, we have like a minute. Okay. Well. <sighs> I would say today was a good stream and I made a good pro some good progress in the character, but it wasn't. <laughs> we fucking died. <laughs> oh, man. The worst part is, like, it, I was doing all the fucking Brotherhood of Steel questline bullshit, so I was running across the map left and right for fucking hours, dude. Like, if you're going to kill off my character, do it when I haven't been doing much. Like, ah, uh, it's so. Okay, <clears throat> uh, this is where the YouTube stream ends, so wave goodbye, YouTube. Uh, if you want to see my reaction to the Star Wars Outlaw story trailer coming out, uh, go to the Twitch page. But uh, yeah, I don't want to get fucking my YouTube VOD claimed, so we're going to go over there, so uh, bye-bye.